My name is Pat. I am a, I am a, I am a nerd. I live in Tucson, Arizona. I'm gonna I'm gonna play some songs for you. Thank you all. solo acoustic guitar music and so if I see someone's about to do that I'm like well you know I might have seen something very similar to this before but he totally blew me away totally he totally exceeded all of my expectations of what something like that is going to be like I just yeah. I love this set and then toy cars followed it up yeah. with excellent excellent uh just excellent electric rock and roll music and then and then these corn people came and they and they, and they were not one person with acoustic guitar, they were two people with acoustic guitars, and they had, and they, and they had wonderful songs, and then, and then, uh, then of course we had Teenage Halloween, an incredible emotional, emotional hardcore band that played. And then we had my old friend Brooke Pridemore, who I've just known him for so many years, we've been on tour together, it is great to play with him, it always is. Um, and then Mikey Erg from this amazing band, the Ergs, it's great, it's great to play with them. I think I got everybody. I'm pretty sure that was all the people who played. This has been an amazing show. Thanks to Luke and thanks to the house for having us. This is a song about repetitive things. On Mondays, I do the laundry. 
country has a 24 hour place next to the Dollar Tree. I know that I can walk, but God, I love to try. I thought about calling and asking forgiveness, but hell, I'm afraid of the dogs that I live with. I guess I'll take it one thing at a time. I thought about Jesse on Tuesday morning. Last I heard, he was still poked up in Portland. I could call him and ask, but hell, I know he'd lie. Like my neighbor, he's got business. If you don't know about it, better keep your distance. Ain't no one on the street ever called a cop in their life. Like he was already a goner. He said he liked to change if he could grow his spine. He said when you talk like that, it makes me real nervous. Now I told be invite me to your funeral service. Throw down your fucking chips, it's life for keeps this time. Like on Thursday when he called and woke me up. I heard he started smoking crack again and got caught up. Catching cases, robbing houses just to stay. So I hung up, I called Vanessa and I told him that I left the rent on the dresser. It wasn't even half the three weeks late this time. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da da da. Da da da. On Friday, I do the laundry at the 24 hour place next to the Dollar Tree. Past the neighbors reaching heaven with their trucks so high. I thought about calling and asking forgiveness, but lately I don't even know what that word is. I got police on my sick just to think it's a crime. A da da da. A da 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 da. This show is pretty punk, you know? You pack in this basement, you know? Yeah. 
the law begins and will storm their courthouses to survive. No, I won't, but we shall overcome someday. I can do it alone, but we shall be free someday. I don't know how to live, but I'm sick of learning how to die. I'm merely coughing because uh, some water went down the wrong pipe. I'm <coughs> <coughs> being 100% truthful with you, of course. Uh, yes. Yes, water. Ah. <coughs> uh, Oh, Yvay. All right. Turkish water. Yes, it's, it's in fact, yes, it is Turkish water. Um, is that? Oh, okay. So that's just, just in. Forgive me. It will annoy me. All right, I'm back. So, this is one of my, I have two staff shirts left from the Boys and Girls Clubs. I've never worn one of these on stream, um, but <clears throat> I'm wearing one tonight. I figured it was party night. This, this is, this shirt has seen some shit. This shirt has seen some shit. No, Bavarius, it's a, a quantum something or other. I can find it for you. Um, it's the, the one price point below Herman Miller. It's still expensive as fuck. It's just not Herman Miller expensive. This shirt has seen some shit. <laughs> there's like there's like some stains and shit right here, but the all every single mark on this shirt, and it's frayed in the back, and it's got holes down below. Do every single one is earned. This shit, this shirt has seen party days, Kai. Yeah, this shirt has seen like back in the day, right? When I tell those like stories, like when I mention that, like, oh yeah, in high school I fucking um, my my stepfather was a judge, and I knew which deputies would be on duty when, and I knew their schedules and their routes because all that shit, all that shit, right? We used to get up to insanity. Just shit that would get any, if it weren't a bunch of fucking white, kids, fucking bougie white kids, right? We'd have, we'd have been in jail 18 times over. <laughs> this, this shirt has seen some shit. The hilarity of it. Um, I don't know if I can get it. Hold on. There we go. My friends used to ask for these shirts. I'd hook them up. So like you would you would actually see a bunch of fucking like fucking just absolutely hey for I tweaked it, but for made that for us. It's gonna come up every little bit. Um <laughs> it was dude, we yeah, we we got up to all sorts of no good. <laughs> Fucking we took a, took advantage of that BLM land, Bureau of Land Management, not Black Lives Matter. Um out here in the West, <clears throat> when you say BLM, you mean Bureau of Land Management still to this day. Um <laughs> it's just the default setting. Um we we have a lot of government owned land out here. Like a lot. Majority of Nevada is government owned land. It's all controlled by the BLM, Bureau of Land Management. They got nobody patrolling that shit. They got like two dudes for 
10,000 acres at, at best, at best. In worse situations, you've got like one dude who patrols just the Mojave. There's just some fallout shit going on out here, right? Like it's just, it's ridiculous. You get away with anything out there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. If you're out there for like two, three days, nobody will ever know. If you camp in for like seven days to like 20 days, yeah, somebody will probably, one of the rangers or somebody else will, you know, they'll, they'll roam by possibly depending on where you are. But dude, you just get up to, to if you know about this shit when you're a teenager <clears throat> and you, you've got like a judge, stepdad and shit like that, like when you know about these sorts of things, yeah, we took advantage of it. <laughs> we took advantage of it. Are you kidding me? We were out there partying our fucking tits off. Oh, it was, it was ridiculous. All right. Let me <laughs> fucking scroll back up a little bit. Is that your version of the Monica dress? Uh, well, Beast, you now know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Non-binary said, this shirt has seen some shit. I looked out the window and saw a man shaking a bag of dog shit while his dog. Hmm, the universe provides. Uh, exudes contact high aura. Oh, 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 Kavas. All of the best years of experimentation with no, like, adult baggage. Because remember, I've told these fucking stories, right? Like, Alexander Shulgin. Like, I was coming in this from the perspective of, like, a seasoned psychopharmacologist and biochemist. I was approaching it, right? And none of the baggage of being an adult. I was still immortal. <sighs> So it was amazing. <laughs> Level, what's up? What's up, guys? How you doing? It's the night show. So I've smoked some potent tobacco. People are drinking. People are imbibing. People are enjoying themselves. <clears throat> How was your stream, Level? What did y'all get up to? I was just regaling the community with the insanity of the, the, the party stories and shit. We'll get, we'll get into specifics sometime. It's long past statute of limitations, right? But yeah, this is, this is a party shirt from way back. Um, this shirt has seen things. So how was y'all's fucking stream? For Tuse, I'm out of tea. I'm out of tea. It's a tragedy. I'm going to rectify it. Don't worry, but I'm out of tea. Uh, angry about Texas law? How can I get you a skirt? Uh, let's see. Talking. Uh, it was fun. We listened to Bill Maher de demonstrating how fucking conservative he really is. Talking about real men. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that was something. Um. No. Yeah, for two, it's a tragedy. I'm gonna call. Uh, I'm gonna call Tim the Tea Wizard. Um, I'm gonna call the tea, tea Wizard though and be like, "Have you made more?" <laughs> so I'll be checking in on that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm. I'm heartbroken. Uh, heard the phrase "statute of limitations" suffices to say my night is ruined and I need more alcohol. Says Marcus. Oh, I'm sorry, Attorney Brain. It's rough to turn off, huh? Uh, did y'all see you? Okay, so this is a crazy shit that happened like just moments ago. Did did y'all catch that like Ukraine may have snuck in under Russian radar with a couple of their helicopters and missled up an oil depot or Russia pulled a false flag or Russia really is so fucking incompetent they like struck their own facility on accident. Or any combination therein. I don't know. That's the three that I've come up with so far, right? But we got the footage. Somebody's garage fucking camera. Like somebody's garage security camera. It's on this fucking it's on the Discord server. Um fucking go to the four horsemen. I don't know if it's TOS or not, but it is a fucking dude, there's there's missiles being launched and there's shit blowing up. Um, so yeah, it's somebody's fucking garage security camera that just happened to catch the strike and it got uploaded on the internet, but I don't know. That shit's impossible to verify real time. It's impossible. Even fucking real, like 
big ass fucking journalistic agencies have trouble shit with, with shit like that. There we'll we'll know eventually, <laughs> but some shit blew up inside Russia, and you can clearly see on the video that it is a low vector like missile strike. That that's that's a helicopter sitting at like just above roof level sort of shit. Just foo 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 foo. There goes oil depot. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. Uh, yeah, can't have just the possibility. Uh, let's see. Could also be the Jewish space lasers. Yes, that is true. That is true. I mean, that's Papag, you know, that, that's fair. That's fair. We should, you know, never be certain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We had, I talked to, okay, so for those of you that are like coming in from level and you don't catch me regularly, I love talking to people. I really do. And I love to have the conversation, right? We had a fucking fascist last night. We had a, a, a straight up white power, white supremacist fascist. This dude was the dumbest goddamn motherfucker you've ever come across. I had a little fun with him. I had a little fun with him. Yeah, it was it was kind of an entertaining little conversation I had last night. It was fun. Like that that <laughs> level that shit was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Yes, dude, he was he was a special kind of fucking and I kind of I, I messed with the world a little bit at the end. That was hilarious. Fucking he he had his he had his panties in a bunch about, you know, the globalists. Yeah. The, he, 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 of course, of course, he's superior to black people and, you know, that sort of thing. And whites have invented everything. Um, he, he tried to do the Africa wheel argument. I don't know where they get this. Where, does anybody know the origin of this weird ass fucking conspiracy theory bullshit, fucking colonial white supremacist crap about the African wheel nonsense? Where the fuck do they get this? There's like petroglyphs of fucking wheels and shit. Like... Where did that even get started that, like, they didn't have the wheel until we showed up? Like, homie, you know. But no, he has panties in, the in a bunch about, um, oh, uh, Pog. So white supremacists uh, have this talking point about how um, Africans didn't have the wheel until colonialism. That essentially, until the Europeans showed up, they had no wheels. They had no concept of wheels. It was the, the, the superior white man brain, apparently, that, um, you know, I asked him, I asked him what he has invented. There was a big talking point for him so that white people invent everything, right? I was like, what have you invented? <laughs> He's like, well, nothing. I'm not an inventor. I'm like, soup. you're just trying to take some credit for some shit you had nothing to do with, huh? And, you know, well, the white man, it's like, yeah, okay. He get, but he got his panties in the bunch about the globalists. He was all about the Jews. He tagged them five, six, seven times. Um, fucking Cupcake was keeping track in chat at one point. Um, and I'm like, you're a Christian. He's like, yeah, fucking, you know, his all the fucking Christian rhetoric. I'm like, Jesus was a Jew, dude. Like, I twisted him up about the Jews kicking the shit out of fascism because the globalists are apparently in power. I'm like, well, then the Jews seem to be the winning team. But I was like, dude, your Lord and Savior is a, he's a rabbi. He's, he's literally, he's a rabbi. He's a, he's a, he's a Jew. Like, you, you, well, he, yeah, he, he was, but he, and he, he disconnected from the call. He was like, peace. There may have been tornadoes in his area. We'll give, we'll give some leeway here. It is possible. There is some evidence that maybe it's possible. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Caboose, I got him on the air. Yeah, he wasn't even in chat. This is when this motherfucker stepped up. He was like, fuck yeah, I'll get on the air. He had, he had fucking chew in his mouth. He was good old boy Southern. Mississippi. He was Mississippi. And yeah, he was a white boy from Mississippi that had fucking chew in his mouth. You could hear it when he started the call. 
and he was he was all kinds of special yeah he it was it was interesting and then seeing like i'm not gonna fucking i'll talk about it glazy fucking reacted in chat like instantly he this guy's not real this guy's fake this guy's a troll this guy is it like and we were like dude glazy we've all known like a dozen of this dude like anybody who's lived in the deep south has known plenty of this dude and it's like homie what is going on why is your ego so caught up in all this shit yeah it was a fun little session i love having conversation like that's I tried to find some common ground with him even in the middle in the beginning to try to draw this motherfucker out like you know he you know yeah it is it's fascinating just having conversations with some of these people like if you if you contextualize them i don't worry about platforming them we all know these motherfuckers exist and they have their own platforms they talk amongst themselves where we know they're already out there right like that's that's just a, a field of information and activity and it's like you know we were asking him how did you get to this day how did you get to this you know trying to just add another data point try and figure that crazy shit out when we deal with it because we all s encounter it to one degree or another so we might as well hear it you just put up the intellectual immune system and you know tap dance a little it's it's an interesting time i you know i love talking to people who fucking want to talk about anarchism but i like to poke the bear occasionally just to see what's in there like do we uh yes uh have we seen the um congressional bill that actually passed the fucking uh the insulin bill every single f Every single fucking Republican voted against that shit. Literally party line. Just foomp. Cap, cap insulin at $35 a month. That was the deal. That was the deal. Right? Like, there's some weird math and shit for the privates. Uh, but Medicare automatic. And, yeah, the privates do their own thing. But, no, like, there's, it's, it works out after the weird formula with the private in, uh, insurance that it caps insulin at $35 a month. Every single fucking Republican voted against it. Every single one. It's just a foom, right down party line. Go fuck yourself. Mitt Romney's out here talking about uh, how he's perfectly happy to talk about, like, let's just admit that, like, Social Security is a fucking scam. And, like, yeah, let's talk about getting rid of it for the millennials. Or reducing it. Yeah. He's like, let's, let's start having that conversation. Like, he straight up said it. Yeah. Fuck. Go fuck you. Go fuck yourselves. We got ours. We drained it dry as much as we can. We broke this shit. Have fun. We're locking you off legally. This is just, this shit's just rigged. Get over it. Yeah. Tam. I didn't, honestly, I didn't get that far into it, but you know what the fucking bullshit reason will be. It'll be some political speak about how economics need balancing and budgetary and finance and how money apparently that we always have for bullets and bombs can't at all ever possibly go to anything else um you know it will be all of those talking points i'm sure at one point or another it will be a miasma and whichever one fucking sticks to the uh, to the base it's the one they'll run with <laughs> hey there he is for Toos, if you're still here there's there's cappy i tweaked him uh, tweaked him a little but um let's see but trudeau said budgets balance themselves did, wait did he actually say that That's that's some crazy shit. If you just balance, budgets just balance themselves, it's just some weird magic that happens. Is that just that's just that's how that works now. <clears throat> if you just don't look at the budget, it balances itself. Like it's oh, it's yeah, it's like trapping in Zomboid. If you just go don't go within seventy five squares of it, 
Yeah, it'll work. Um, yeah, no, that's that's special. I, I did he have further? This is stupid. I have to look this up. This is this is this is this is stupid. Uh, oh god, it's an option. I didn't. I didn't have to fucking type it all. It was already an option coming up. Okay. Oh, it's it's part of a quote. It's part of a quote. There's context there. It doesn't make him look like a raving lunatic. Fuck it. That one's taken out of context. <clears throat> the whole the whole thing is about if the economy improves, people will get more jobs and the tax revenue increases, but the tax revenue increases and deficits shrink. And then relative to increased revenue. And so in this regard, the economy balances. Ah, oh, god damn it. I really wanted to see him as an absolute raving lunatic. That would have been fucking hilarious. Damn. Uh, no, only if you pray to Milton Friedman, said Marcus. Um, I wonder what that shrine looks like. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Okay, Zero's got a chunk. I really don't care which diabetics uh, you refer to. It's not their responsibility. Oh, God, yeah, because make, people make that distinction. Oh, yeah. Uh, when the state has uh, such powers, the U.S., it must provide all basic human needs to even partial, uh, to be even partially justified. You're adorable. Um, please never use the, oh, they ain't voting in their interests. I mean, they are, but... I mean, there's much larger forces at work than just that. That's, that's, you know, that's, I mean, yes, but like, it's barely worth mentioning at this point. Um, hmm. Hmm. To beer or not to beer. That's a question. Well, B school after your last performance, uh, I would, I would ask how many are you in already? before I answered that question. Uh, yes, Zero, that is a uh, um, term of endearment applied about the comment about how the U.S. to be considered partially justified or legitimate uh, providing all basic human needs to us. As an American, that makes me chuckle. Legitimately. Like, like, we are so beat down on this side of the border, my man. Dude, this capitalist shit is ridiculous. They hit us every single fucking direction, and it's state-empowered, and it's just ridiculous. Oh, man, they own this fucking country. Lock, stock, and barrel. Dude, this is, this is a rough clawback. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut us some slack. We could be doing more. I, I don't get me wrong. We could be doing more, but holy shit, man, is this shit rigged? This shit is rigged from birth. This is a rough one. This is a rough clawback. Fucking the forces of like the libertine forces, right? The, the the anarchistic forces, the ones who are all about, hey, let's not put a boot heel on everybody's fucking throat. It's that ebb and flow, right? Versus the other side, the authoritarians. Do we've been doing this dance for God knows how many years now? You know, it's forever with us. So it's just, yeah, this is, this is, a, we, we took a bunch of battles on the chin the last hundred years, right? We, we got some ground and then we just lost a ton. It's, it's kind of a rough time. Uh, resilience. That's why you need nights like this, guys. Because tomorrow is another Popo's Bizarre Adventure. We're doing another one of those tomorrow. I've got, I've got the, I've got the stuff for that. And that's always a, that's always a great look at the underbelly. This bullshit fucking country. It's... Dude, those fucking story, those cop stories. Yeah, dude, we we do like th what three hours sometimes. Like I've just been since we've started doing them. Like like the average is two hours, 
right? Like there's always north of two hours of content just going over, hey, this is the cop shit that's been relevant in the last like week or two, right? It's it's just some shit that's for some reason at this point has crested into the news cycle. And, you know, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Fucking the shit that the shit that black men die for in this country, dude. We we need to start keeping a list. That's a list we need, dude. That's 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 some shit you smack people with. This this is the, this is the list of shit that black men have been doing, and they got shot. Like just this absurdist list because we've got fucking drinking iced tea wearing a jacket like the list is stupid you know and yeah that's that's a we should actually keep track of that one <laughs> uh it's uh what's the opposite of a good time says marcus yeah yeah it's it's rough down here um it's friday today says non-binary uh you know mm, now technically for me but no the friday show uh <laughs> Resilience is futile. Uh, let's see. Nonsense. The group that the lady with the five fetuses is the director of activism for is a progressive anti-abortion group that is anti-capitalist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's crazy shit, by the way. That's some... Um... <laughs> oh, zero. Yeah, I've already got... I've already got these fucking... Dude, I got, I got fuckers role-playing as ANCAPs in the Discord server. Um, for April Fools, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, nonsense, dude. That fetus story is wacky as shit. Holy fuck, man. So she probably stole him from the abortion clinic, <clears throat> right? That's 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 where she got him. Like, and the the alternative is there's some really crazy shit. Like some really next level crazy shit, right? She she and her group, um, she and her group barricaded themselves inside of an abortion clinic recently, and that would have given them access to the potential to have this, right? That okay, you know, um, but at least there's there's a process here. Like you know, they were going to be used for propaganda or some sort of shock art thing or some. St- bullshit to make a statement right that's what that group is about so they stole five fetuses for some reason i i do not ascribe to that she was eating them i have seen this i have seen i have actually seen people fucking talking about this way beside you nonsense no 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 that was immediate dude that was immediate that people were like she's eating them (laughs) Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 zero. This, 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 this woman, who is a uh, activist as a part of this anti-abortion, anti-capitalist group, was caught with five fetuses. <laughs> um, yeah, she. Um, somebody called in a biohazard warning on her. Somebody called the cops and said that she has biohazardous material in her uh, in her apartment, and they responded as such. Um, they came in, and and given that she's already a known member, you think the state appar- apparatus doesn't know who the fuck this chick is? She just barricaded herself inside of a fucking, you know, an abortion clinic. They know who she is. Right? She's got biohazardous materials, the warning that was called in on her. And so the state reacted. They did what state does. And they came in. And yeah, they found five fetuses. There it is. Like, I, there's nothing that we know past this. I mean, we don't know. I mean, yeah. Like there's, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a long ball shot. There's a long ball shot that she was eating them. Like that's, that's a long ball shot, but humans are crazy. Humans are fucking crazy. The, the, the logic 
the facts, the, 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 the clear, you know, but that is a long ball shot for humans. Like we do crazy shit like that from time to time. So it's always, you know, it always pops up almost immediately. Something like that, that you're just like, it's not, it's probably not, but you know, occasionally crazy shit happens. <laughs> like, fuck you. Uh, let's see. Exile, I was half expecting her to say she was trying to figure out the adrenochromes. Uh, over to uh, overuse chew toy. What the hell did I walk into? I joined the channel and it's five fetuses and blood magic. Yeah, well, welcome to an after dark show, right? Um, <laughs> yes, it is. In fact, we are we are we are uh, workshopping the next Mega Delta album. That is, in fact, what is occurring right now. Um, Beast, yeah, they were probably thinking it was bioweaponry to be on the fly on the wall when they found those things. Yeah, no, it had to be a fucking weird moment where, you know, they're like, you know, they open a fucking freezer, you know, because they're searching, like, and that's where you, uh, you know, and it's like, okay, you know, because that dude's a seasoned veteran. That's not a fucking rookie. Dude, that's, that's some, like, biohazard team dude, right? Like, that's not some shit that's going to knock him back. That's some shit that he opens and he, okay, there's fetuses in here. There's like, you know, there's human material, right? Like, yeah, like that's, that's just some shit, some seasoned fucking hardened, like veteran just opened a fucking freezer in New York and found five fetuses in this place, this woman's possession. You know, they were thinking anthrax probably, but they got fetus and we got an interesting moment where, yeah, what were the, what were the anti-abortion people do going to, what were they planning? So I want to know the plan, right? What was it? Don't tell me it was just photos. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do the photos, right? They're doing a propaganda run. That's what they're about. That group is an anti-abortion, anti-capitalist activist group. Like, this is a crazy story, but you know, this is like, this is our team. Like, we need to look at this. We need to analyze this. Like, what did they do? Like, this is, the, they went in and they barricaded themselves inside an anti-abortion clinic, but you can multitask. And that's what they did. They seem to have multitasked. And they walked away with some fetus. Uh, so there had to be some like downstream project for the fetus or they just grabbed five fetuses in like to take them, right? Like opportunistic theft. They were just like, there's, it's here, you know, they shouldn't have it. There could be some moralistic ethical framework driver there that they don't want them like they're going to give it a proper burial or some shit like that. There's there's all sorts of possibilities sprinkled in there. Like what were they planning on doing with the fetus or were they planning at all? And if they weren't planning, what the fuck were you thinking? So they were entrapped into stealing them. Of course, says Bavarius. Yes, yes, that is for certain what has occurred here. Uh, yes, whether the court case will be interesting. It will. Yeah, that will be an interesting court case. Um, well, you just steal fat for soap. What can you make with a fetus as beast? Propaganda. That's my guess. I, I think if you're an anti-abortion, anti-capitalist activist who has come into possession of five fetuses, you're thinking propaganda. That's what you're going for. There's nothing else you could do with that thing. With, with like, like, think about it logically. It sounds crazy, right? Like some chick got caught with five fetuses. But put the context in it and set the like, yeah, we could get some crazy shit aside. Um, and think about it. Like, yeah, that's, that's some propaganda. They were plant, they were like, you know, we can do something with it. So what was the art project? Uh,
Raffle. Maybe I don't know. I don't really know much about the stuff, but I do know that it scared her out of her mind. She said that she was scared out of her mind. I'm just glad that it wasn't her spirit that was making the noise. Okay. Um. You can make flying potions, so I've heard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Puka. Puka. Yeah, I, 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 there's a whole host of options attached to that one. Yeah, there will be the various, which I think could also be part of the plan. That's perfectly logical. Ugh. I mean, yeah, we just covered the jail portion of Saul Alinsky's, you know, rules for radicals last night. These are activists. Like, you know, I, I'm expecting something I, like that's, that's, that's probably what the driving motivation was something born of their ethical framework. And it's going to be of that. It could be burying them. It could be propagandizing, using them. It could be both. It could be something weird. It could be, you know, but yeah, that's what I figure. Um, but it is a hell of a funny story. And there is the small, like I said, it's a long shot. Um, the small chance that it is actually something crazy. <laughs> like, that is always possible. It's human beings we're talking about here. Um, Hell, even if it's not crazy, it's fucking crazy. Exactly, right? Like, it's an absurdist headline. It's an absurdist headline. It's the kind of thing that, like, news news people love to run. Dude, it grabs attention. It grabs attention. That's, that's, that's a winning headline. That'll sell copy, as they used to say. Um... I, I, you know, Solar, I think they do, too. I, I, there's no way to guarantee that, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I think it fit within their ethical framework and it was like actions taken born of that for those ethics. Yeah, I, I really do. Um, I think the entire situation is wacky as shit and that like towards their en that end when she was in that fucking Twitter photo, like, you know, sitting there. Yeah. You, you I mean, this is fucking all right, this shit just got real. Uh, they're trying to use the media to control and infiltrate the masses. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, they're trying to convince everyone that the government is controlling us. It's always the government and not the other way around. I'm open to the option of some... Like I said, Olinsky style, take me to jail. There's, there's stratagem there. I don't know. I don't know these gals. I don't know these people. I don't know how deep, how deep their, 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 uh, their knowledge runs, but like, you know, it's always possible. Um, did y'all see, um, our boy Kyle Rittenhouse was uh, making the rounds again. He's been complaining that Joe Biden doesn't return his phone calls. What's up, Wallers? Yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse has been going around complaining to every single fucking like right wing fucking um, like podcaster, streamer, grifter, news person that he can. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on some fucking show just the other day that he was like. Biden doesn't return my calls. It, it, he still hasn't replied. So it just shows how much of a me man he is to not sit down and talk. Homie, who the fuck are you? <laughs> he literally, Kyle Rittenhouse thinks the, the president's, like he legitimately feels that like, he expects that. <laughs> He's out there bitching about it. It's like, holy fuck, man. You just shot a dude. Forget all the other circumstances. You shot a dude. What? what who are you? 
Mm. No, Walrus. It is not. My name's actually Kai, if you don't know that. Um, yeah, he's really working it. He's really working it. Good on him. Good on that grifty little grifter little fucker. Right? Think of the framework. Think of who he is. Think of the system he operates in. Right? Yeah. He's fucking taking advantage of it. He's monetizing it. He's trying to keep his name in the news cycle. Welcome to America. That's what it looks like. That's the grift. He got a ticket in and he's going to try and try and make it work. Fuck it. He's like, all right, this one pays. Like, I can make this one work. All right. Oh, I'm sure he has an agent. I'm sure he has an agent. Come on. Of course he's got an agent. That's step one. Yeah, that's step one. Yeah. Agent PR. Agent and PR. That's where you go. Yeah. I want to be somebody. This fucking grifter little motherfucker. He's going to end up like Zimmerman. You know that, right? There's a, there's a chance. There's a chance he ends up the next Zimmerman. And that motherfucker is just going to shoot somebody else. Because that's... Dude, that's the psychology there that can happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen with fucking Rittenhouse, but that's you can see that shit in Zimmerman. Yeah. There's 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 a roll of the dice. There is a universe that exists where Kyle Rittenhouse shoots another motherfucker. Yo, yeah, Puka. No, I wasn't even reading you, Puka. No, yes, 100%. No, I, yes, there is, there is a universe that exists where he shoots more people. <laughs> I'm telling you. Not saying it's going to happen, but that is, that's a variable that would need to be considered. Yeah, not, not necessarily to get the fame back because that's another level, but like, yeah, he feels threatened by some dude and pop, pop, pop. That's just he he could he could catch another body. Yeah. Yeah, Bavarius. No, it's not even close to the darkest timeline. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> Walrus. I'd say Kyle will shoot someone else once his star power starts to fade. It's dude, look, that's that is there's a non-zero chance on that one. All right, that's that's not that is a possibility. That shit can happen. Not saying it would say it, it's going to happen with him, but that is a that's a role of human consciousness. We know it exists. Crazy shit like that happens. You have to account for it. Don't plan your entire day around it, but always pay a mind towards like, you know, crazy shit happens, right? <laughs> so, yeah. There is a world that exists where Kyle Rittenhouse is fit, stardom his fucking grift time runs out and he just, he knows how to get his name back in the news and you're going to fucking psyching himself up. Holy shit. That would be a dark timeline. Uh, this, nah, this is the stupidest, not the darkest. Dude, it's kind of a mix. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Dude, it's super fucking dark at times and it's super fucking ridiculous at times that you're just like, baby cancer Donald Trump right like there's there's just, just there's this it's both this is a pretty fucked up world we find ourselves in uh whether I can make money off of this and not get in trouble because I'm famous enough yeah I've never seen that happen uh let's see they ask Kyle to go to Ukraine but the big baby doesn't want to go says Amaris yeah no you can actually get got there it's not, <laughs> that's, of course not. He's not a brave man. <laughs> he's not, he's not principled in that way either. Uh, beast. Uh, okay. That was, yeah. Uh, don't make the kid mad. I'm putting five bucks on Andy. No, to ask Kyle to come with him to fuck with Antifa. Oh, that would, yeah. You know what? That could happen. Yeah. That could happen. Amorous. Yeah. I feel you. I don't know if it will, but yeah, I could feel, I could see. Yeah. Uh, overused chew toy 
Imagine talking to your uh, imagine talking to yourself from 2015. So yeah, we're just uh, getting through the pandemic. The what? You know, after the Donald Trump finished his presidency, Donald what? Yeah, good thing the coup attempt was stopped, or Mike Pence might have been hanged. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, we have. I, I gotta tell you. Dude, this happens every few years. We had this with like Bush Jr. It, it the, the pendulum seems to. I don't know where the extra energy is coming from on that pendulum. You think it normally would slow down, the entropy would kick in, but somehow, uh, um, but yeah, dude, this this sort of shit, this wacky shit happens every few years in the U.S. Like straight up, and it's just you're like, God damn it, they put another dummy in there, <laughs> right? We're getting fucked no matter what, right? The authoritarians are fucking running, running shit. We're fu like we're getting fucked left, right, and center anyway. And so, like, yeah, like at least let the guys sound. I don't know. <laughs> Just don't fucking show me, show me, show me these fucking elitist pricks. Parade them through, and you know, let me ha hate on the actual sort of like upper crust. We actually hate the aristocracy for once. Then they trot these dummies and these nouveau riche in here. Like fuck fucking Bush. Bush Jr. Bush Sr. was a whole other fucking ball game. That was that motherfucker was scary as shit. Um Yeah. Call him a wimp, but that dude wasn't a wimp. Uh Kyle is washed out for you. He's gonna be scary and sad, said Puka. Um Life just has a D100 table where somebody struggled to come up with 100 different results. <laughs> it's red. Uh, I'm too famous to go to war. Yeah, well, I mean, that's tradition. <laughs> Caboose, that's tradition. Walrus, don't forget it's April Fool's Day. Remember to prank someone. I hate April Fool's Day. I hate April Fool's Day. I've hated April Fool's Day for my basically my entire life. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, okay, so here's the thing. Interpersonally, like IRL interpersonally, I'm okay with April Fool's Day as a concept in my personal life on an individual person-to-person -person level. <laughs> Some people I can do it with, but I don't like the societies in on this. I don't like that there's like entities and organizations that are in on this, that there's literally a day where you can trust no one, right? That, 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 that's actually, and in a, like an information saturated society that's so interconnected as a techno, tech, uh, technologically as ours is, I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> it's so fucking obnoxious. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah, Cupcake. I didn't do an image pop-up. Dude, that thing is a uh, fucking... Okay, you know what? We'll cut him out or something. We'll figure it out. I see what you were after. I see what you were after. Um, Yeah, I'll fucking work on that. Oh, wow. A comedy snob has reservation towards a day where you're obligated to try and be funny, weird, and unexpected. Dude, for two, that's not what it's like over here. It isn't, it, it's not funny, weird, and unexpected over here. Dude, you can't trust Americans with April Fool's Day. Dude, this this just some American shit. It's it's nothing. Honestly, I don't know what April Fool's Day looks like for the rest of y'all. In America, it's kind of an obnoxious day. It really is. Um, might help us keep us on our toes though a bit. Eh, just don't trust any single story that comes out today that is like, I don't know not a fucking live news feed to he I lied the holiday <laughs> Karina said y'all take everything too far yeah we do it's kind of an American thing it's kind of our trademark it's us Russia and Australia but in different ways but we all have that kindred spirit of just like yeah fuck it let's just take this to like whatever the next level is <laughs> and see what we end up with there's a, you know, it's just part of the vibe of our collective countries. 
um, that time the BBC convinced like 80% of the UK there was a species of flying penguins and the pasta was harvested from trees. Jesus Christ. Oh, Che, did that, do you got a link? I want to look at that. I want to look at that. And I'm so lazy, I'm not even going to fucking type. I'm literally, I'm just crowdsourcing that because I want to read more about that because that's fucking hilarious. You know there's no real evidence uh, for the War of the Worlds thing, by the way. For those of you that know the War of the Worlds thing, there's no real evidence that that actually occurred. Um, that's just some, that's just some, like, myth shit. <laughs> uh, Non-binary got it. Yes. Oh, no, no. This is the best April. Okay, so this is like... Okay, yeah, these are acceptable pranks. Yes. See, these are acceptable pranks. I agree. I agree. Balloon room. Always fun. Come on. Everybody's in on that. That's that's fucking fun. Uh, uncontrollable remote. Yeah, fuck with, fuck with the remote. But, you know, fucking just, you know, a little piece of tape or a sticker over the... the, the the infrared light. Who gives it? Fuck it. You know, scary silhouettes. Yeah, fucking fan fun. Yeah, car keeper with a fucking honking smile. Yes, all of these are pleasant, and don't feel like I'm being like assaulted. All right, Shay has the link. All right, bam. I want to see this. It's this fucking brilliant. Right, let me kill the music. Wrong tab entirely. All right. There we go. Oh, it's never loud enough for you guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me fix that. It isn't only in Britain that spring this year has taken everyone by surprise. Here, in the Ticino, on the borders of Switzerland and Italy, the slopes overlooking Lake Lugano have already burst into flower, at least a fortnight earlier than usual. But what, you may ask, has the early and welcome arrival of bees and blossom to do with food? Well, it's simply that the past winter, one of the mildest in living memory, has had its effect in other ways as well. Most important of all, it's resulted in an exceptionally heavy spaghetti crop. The last two weeks of March are an anxious time for the spaghetti farmer. There's always the chance of a late frost, which, while not entirely ruining the crop, generally impairs the flavor and makes it difficult for him to obtain top prices in world markets. But now these dangers I are open this, and the spaghetti it. harvest goes forward. Dude. The state spaghetti media here fucking commits their own people. Carried out on anything that like spaghetti the tremendous trees. scale of the Italian industry. Many of you, I'm sure, will have seen pictures Dude, of the vast spaghetti the plantations in the Po Valley. For the Swiss, however, it tends to be more of a family affair. Another reason why this may be a bumper year lies in the virtual disappearance of the spaghetti weevil, <laughs> the tiny creature whose depredations have caused much concern this is really in the well past. Done. After picking, the spaghetti is laid out to dry in the warm alpine sun. Many this people is, are often this puzzled is by the fact that spaghetti point. is produced yeah, right. at like, such we uniform length. We, we're information but this saturated. is the result this, of many years this of is patient realistic. endeavor by plant breeders who have succeeded in producing the perfect spaghetti. And now the harvest is marked by a traditional meat. Happy I have. Toasts to the new crop are drunk in these pocalinos. And then the waiters enter bearing the ceremonial dish. And it is, of course, spaghetti. Picked earlier in the day, dried in the sun, and so brought fresh from garden to table at the very peak of condition. For those who love this dish, there's nothing like real homegrown spaghetti. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. What the f Fuck MySwitzerland.com. This fucking my Switzerland fucking channel is the one that posted this. Oh, because okay, so 1957. And it was the current affairs program Panorama. And Panorama was like a serious program, right? Like that was dude, like 
hold on. Panorama, uh, Panorama was, let's see, longest running. Yeah, the world's longest running news television program. Like, dude, that's, that's like Walter Cronkite telling you that shit. For Americans' point of reference, like that's if Walter Cronkite came on the air and said, "Yeah, spaghetti's grown on trees." I don't know what you were thinking, dude. That's a credible news source, dude. That's a credible news source. Nineteen fifty-seven. Are you kidding me? And that was really well done. That was really well done. That was you know, show you every step. Perfectly convincing, and it's coming from a trusted source. Yeah. Dude, 80% you said, Che? Do we have... I'm fucking... I'm checking. That's that's because... Ah, uh, fucking... All right, hang on. Here's the spaghetti hoax. All right. Fucking... All right, let's read about this shit. This is ridiculous. All right. At the time... 44% of Britain had television receivers. Oh, let's see. Do we have anything for to back? Because this is, I want to know. All right. Okay, so a cameraman dreamed this crazy shit up. 100 bucks sent him off to do it. The fucking, dude. All right. Dude, yeah, voiceover by respected broadcaster Richard Dimbleby. Uh, he said they knew that he, he uh, that they were using his authority to make the joke work, and he loved the idea and went at it eagerly. Jesus Christ. Uh, an estimated 8 million people watched the program and hundreds phoned in the day to, following day to question the authenticity of the story to ask for more information about spaghetti cultivation and how they could grow their own spaghetti trees. Uh, the BBC then told them to place a sprig of spaghetti in a tin of tomato sauce and hope for the best. Oh my God, that's actually kind of mean. <laughs> like that's... <laughs> it's fucking... Dude, that's state media. That's the BBC. That's That's a little terrifying when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> that they were just willing to fuck with you like that. Yeah. Uh, his son went on to present the BBC News for 50 years and still does the election results in the UK. Yeah, that's a dick. That's a dick prank. That's playing on power systems that you shouldn't, you shouldn't like have fun with. Right, like I don't. I, that that's that's that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> you know that sets off the like you know the sensors. Like, excuse me, that's fucked up. Who did that? And they knew. Oh, oh great! It wasn't just a rogue fucking single dude. Fucking yeah. <laughs> That was fun. You know, when we use the power of our platform and the authority that we've been cultivating via uh, the, the, the character that we have reliably presented to you night in and night out for ever, yeah, that you've come to use as a reliable gauge of how the world works, you know, even in times of crisis and war and bombing. Yeah. Um, we think it would be really hilarious if we convinced, like, basically everybody who listens to us that, you know, spaghetti grows on trees. Why? Because we think it'd be funny. Cool. That's why I hate April Fool's Day. <laughs> Remember I said interpersonally, you know, balloon room. Yeah, it's y'all think that like there's not other people in on April Fool's, Day. dude. This it's fucked up. This fucked up. April Fools. <laughs> yeah, pickle trees are superior though. I wither a hundred percent. Ride or die on that wither. I I, I will, uh, dude. I'll I'll follow you into the trenches. I'll follow you into the trenches. Pickle trees are a hundred percent superior to spaghetti trees. Go fuck yourself. Yep. 
That is that is just that's just truth. That is objective truth. I think you may have stumbled on the first natural law ever. We may have to adjust our ethical frameworks and how our philosophies work, but you know, we'll make it work around the pickle tree. Ah, uh, Voss, I already have pickle trees. Nice. Yo, Culver's Travel pulled this prank before it was cool, though. I mean, did any Americans have any teachers that tried to pull that fucking uh, War of the Worlds bullshit on you at a young enough age? They tried. They they tried that shit. God dreams of being a pickle farmer. I prefer the bed and bud, butter, uh, bread and butter. Bread. Wow, that was so oh, shit. I prefer the bread and butter pickle trees over the sour ones. Oh, I prefer a lacto fermented pickle. Just for uh, reference, yes. Uh, uh, vinegar pickles are not. It's technically pickled, but it isn't pickled. All right, let's just fucking get that out of the way. Lacto-fermented pickles are the only thing that deserves the title of actual pickle. Go fuck yourselves with that fake-ass vinegar pickle. Um, yeah, that's that's how a uh, puka. That's how all pickles used to be made. Period. Throughout all human history, um, you just pack all that stuff in there. You put some fucking all your whatever vegetable matter and you get the, uh, the, the salt and the, uh, salt and the, the sweetener to some degree, you can use a variety of things. You could just get something that can breed. That's a suitable medium for microbes. And you leave that container open to the wind and then you close it and it ferments. It's very akin to like brewing beer and kombucha and that sort of territory. Um, and that preserves whatever vegetable you're pickling. That is, lacto-fermented pickles are what human beings have been making forever. It wasn't always just you put, like, salted and sugared vinegar in a, contain in a jar. Like, this is how human beings used to make pickles. And it is a far superior pickle. It is miles better. No, it, yeah, wither. It's super. It's it's good for you. It's good for you. There's it, it's alive. It's probiotics and that sort of territory. Yeah, it's it's good for you. Um, and you know, I I, I loathe that Americans have reduced pickles to just cucumber pickles because pickles are. It's a category. We have defaulted pickles to a cucumber pickle, but to pickle is this process. It's a culinary term. And so it, you have pickled something. That's, that's, that's what the actual thing is. So yeah, like we have defaulted cucumber pickles to just pickles, but you can pickle anything. You can pickle meats, you can pickle eggs, you can pickle fruits and vegetables. You can, you can pickle anything. Uh, nightmares. It is. And it can even get sort of fizzy on the tongue sometimes. It's, um, yeah, like lacto-fermented can get sort of a, you know, it gets a, a next level sour, um, but it also has sort of a, a fizziness to it sometimes. You're like, I can feel that on my tongue. That's how we survived the leaner times, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it was a huge stratagem for us. For a very long time. Uh, Karina, when your April Fool's was canceled at my elementary because a dude with something in his hand turned out it was a Brocket wine bottle? I'm guessing a brand. Teachers thought it was a cruel joke and swore the day off. Parents thought he was an actual drunk. Neither appropriate. Okay. Yeah, again. Uh, kind of like kefir. Yeah, puka. It's in the same territory as kefir. Yeah. Um, now how do you make kimchi? Cause that's just bomb. One of the best things Korea made. Um, that goes in the ground. It's still a natural ferment. It's just a different, um, vegetable and the paste and the paste is the, what's got the, the load in it. Basically it is usually the, what it's going to, uh, what the various bacterium and, uh, mold sometimes, um, that ferment that. 
um, take root in is that paste that they slather on. And that's where your magic is, is that paste. And then the process, put it in some clay, put it in the ground, bury it and walk away. Um, Oh God. Another reason for you to hate April fool's day, the yearly copaganda. Oh, uh, which one is it? I'm sure I've seen it before, but Oh, yep. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're doing this. Fuck it. We're teaming, we're teaming up with Robert Irwin and Australia Zoo to launch an elite new squad. Police animals in the wild. Paw. With add more eyes, ears, wings, and claws to help Queensland safe. Let's see if Twitter's shit media I'm player. I'm excited to be here today with wildlife warrior Robert Irwin. To a oh, fuck you already. Uh, let's see. Officially launched the new Queensland Police Paw Squad. I've been working closely with Australia Zoo and Wildlife Warriors to train this specialist squad who will be assisting us adding more eyes, ears, wings and claws to help keep Queensland safe. G'day everyone, I'm Robert Irwin and I'm so excited they did to be this here in with April members Fools. of the QPS to launch this Australia first squad that sees some of our favourite zoo residents be promoted Jesus to police fucking personnel. Christ. We are excited to draw on resources from Wildlife Warrior Robert to bring this specialist squad together. We've been experimenting to see which animals are best for which job. It did take longer than expected, particularly for our nocturnal animals, given their sleep schedule, which, believe it or not, can be up to 18 hours per day. From today, police animals in the wild, now known as the Paw Squad, will be deployed to areas across the state. They will be equipped with official QPS body-worn camera devices that provide a live stream to our officers. This will allow us to reach new heights, literally. This is so cringy. We've discovered that our animals are this absolutely is so cringy, and they think this, for this job. They think, Not only oh God, are they able this to works, observe this works. an activity for extended hours, but with their they think this works. No, this works. diverse this actually sizes, works. skill sets, oh God. and range of movements, they can provide the eyes and the ears in oh areas that humans God. simply can't. Frankly, we couldn't find anyone be more qualified for this task. Just think of the possibilities. These animals can go to places we cannot even keeping an eye on events from the sky. In the upcoming months, these animals will continue God, to practice their commands. Levels, doesn't We're it? expecting them to be officially sworn into the QPS later this year oh, in a private induction at our world famous Crocosseum. I hate you That's going to be awesome. I, and we're I, used excited. To, I used to have <laughs> decent feelings about you because your father was like a beautiful man. I, I in that one moment, I, I learned I just I hate like Robert Irwin. That that sucks. Dude, I want I, I like I wanted to like that dude's kids, like I'm fucking dude. That one moment, man, she like literally flipped me on that dude, like just like that, like holy shit. Uh, Beastical is Bindi still cool? I don't fucking know. She doing commercials like this shit? Fucking a. That was, mm. yeah. Fuck yourself. <laughs> like a little motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Operation Acoustic Koala. <laughs> uh, how much did we spend on that? 20 mil? Anyway, anyway, know off the top there, it was like 2 million or 20 million. I think it was 20 million. Do you want to know the nu the number for Operation Acoustic Kitty off the top of their heads? Fucking <laughs> Mr. Sir with a nice deep cut US usage reference. That's a uh, that's solid work there. Um, Steve Irwin was an anti-status, but I think his kids are just trying to keep his legacy alive, but I don't have his worldview entirely. Steve was a perfect example of being Machiavellian. All right, Karina says. It was 20, says Mr. Sir. All right, cool. <laughs> Mr. Sir knows him too. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that. That was a good, that was a nice deep cut, uh, uh, deep cut there. I like that. Um, yeah. We spent $20 million. <laughs> is that, does that shit myth? Do, uh, is that, like, I know, I know the program was real. It's what I'm talking about. Mr. Sir, do you know the ending to that story? Did the cat really get 
got, like get hit or did it just wander off? Like, how does that story actually conclude? Because the story is hilarious. But I've, do you know whether we've ever come down one way or the other on that one? Because I've heard some embellishments of that program over the years. And yeah. Hmm, I'm, all I'm finding for Bindi controversy is meaningless BS, so I still got hope. All right, so Bindi's, Bindi's still not bootlicker, at least. Uh, have you seen his rant about money? I think I have, actually, but let's pull it up because fucking... Uh, and and or send me a link. Because um, I may end up with different results than you. Uh I'm just going to do money rant. Oh, shit. I think I found it. Steve Irwin on consumerism and money. This feels right. What good is a fast car flash house? In a yeah, this feels right. Oh, go play. Hey, hey, Kai, you're not in Firefox. You're, you're doing well there, homie. What good is a fast? car flash house and a gold plate to me absolutely no good at all oh, what good is a fast car flash house and a gold plate a dunny to me absolutely no good at all i've been put on this planet to protect wildlife and wilderness Gosh. areas which in essence is going to help humanity i want to have the purest oceans i want to be able to drink water straight out of that creek i want to stop the ozone layer i want to save the world and you know money money's great i can't get enough money and you know what i'm going to do with it I'm going to buy I've wilderness areas with it. Every yeah, single cent I guess goes straight into conservation. And guess what, Charles? I don't give a rip whose money it is, mate. I'll use it and I'll spend it on buying land. I want to point it's something. Being out. put on this planet. That is the look of somebody who knows what she's sitting in front of, right? Imagine getting to fall in love with Steve Irwin, right? Shit, dude, that's, yeah, that's some real shit right on display there, and that's that's yours. Like, we are a pair, we are a partner, we are a force in this world. Like, that dude is, I wake up next to him. That's That's an intensity you do not find very often. And to be lucky enough to latch on to it and just reel it in, yeah. Yeah, like, that's, dude. That's some real shit sitting in front of you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a whole other level. Um, 900, uh, 990, what's up, my man? Uh, I just spent an hour and a half in a Marxist guy's channel. Oh, uh, well, we're... <sighs> we're not entirely sober, because it's the After Dark show. So, like, you know most of chat or part of chat myself especially so decompress this is this is now a space you want to be in so welcome welcome uh okay so red the director of the cia's office of technical service denied that it happened and said the project was abandoned because cats are hard to train okay i you know i've i thank you red thank you I've heard various embellishments of that story over the years where the cat fucking gets hit by a bus or the cat fucking gets distracted and walks down the street or the cat refu just refuses to. I've heard of various versions of that story over the years. Thank you for getting me that red. Um, I think she's from Oregon too. Friend's mom said she knew her. <sighs> you know, non-binary. I may be a lesbian, but I do understand. Happy nightmares, right? Right, you know, yeah. Um. Uh, oh God, Caboose! I am. I got drunk enough for multiple after dark streams. Oh, uh, it's decompression night. Said Karina. Yes, let's watch some uh, Steve Irwin hopium for a bit. Um, <laughs> pigeon missile guiding system. Oh God, yep, that was a real one too. Yeah, let's let's watch it again. But you know, yeah, that that caught my attention in the first run through was that look she had on him. That is a whole fucking thing right there. She like. Dude, I'd fall in love with that shit. I'm like, um, yeah. Like, I'm never letting you out of my sight again. You know that, right? Homie, you're like kind of perfect. 
<laughs> like that's dude i probably wouldn't you know what i wouldn't i wouldn't try to hold on to that so i'd i'd be like no 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 you go you go shine you're gonna go do some crazy shit what good is a fast car, a flash house, and a gold plate of dunny to me? Shit, Absolutely no good, good at all. I've been put on this planet to protect wildlife and wilderness areas, which in essence is going to help humanity. I want to have the purest oceans. Fuck I want yeah, to be Marcus. able to drink water straight out of that creek. I want to stop the ozone layer. I want to save the world. And you know money? Money's great. I can't get enough money. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to buy wilderness areas with it. Every single cent I get goes straight into conservation. And guess what, Charles? I don't give a rip whose money it is, mate. I'll use it and I'll spend it on buying. The problem is, is oh, man, you got to get things locked in perpetuity so hard. And you can do it. You can do it. And I hope he did it right. Dude, does anybody know? Did like Is all that shit truly on lock? Like, dude, okay, so, like, I don't think, is Marcus still here? Yeah, 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 Marcus. Wait, 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 you're here. Dude, basically contract law, like, in perpetuity land locks. Like, I know the uh, my childhood property in Vermont has an in perpetuity clause on it that was put in by us that every sale thereafter, every uh, to transfer ownership of the property, they have to contact us and ask and give us right of first refusal. And so, like, every single fucking time that property gets sold to the next person, that is embedded in the contract. It's a clause that transfers in perpetuity. Um, did, did fucking, does anybody know, like, did Steve Irwin get some, get some shit properly locked down? That, like, it doesn't even really matter what a douchebag kid does with it because in the end it's protected and locked because... That's a thing you can do. It's a, it's, that's real shit. Um, yeah, not outside the Arab world, no. It's a property thing literally called against the rule against it, perpetuities in common law countries, especially replaced by statute. So, Marcus, is the end run on that just like put 10 cycles or 10 sales or some shit like that? Because it would reduce, like, generational What's up, Flywing? Right? Is that what's in there? I've never seen the contract myself. All I know is that, like, it's happened. They've had to contact my uh, my mother before to ask about transfer. Um. So, like, how do you write that? Like, what's the what's the deal? Is there like I'd have to get my hands on the contract? I guess. <laughs> like, there's some shit there. Because it may not be land that they sold. Like, it could be a fucking construct. I know fucking like it could be a trust. Who the fuck knows? I'm not per. I don't pay attention to that shit in my family. <laughs> but there's a couple of like my stepdad has like reams. Like there's these like folders basically that are the if we drop dead in an accident tomorrow, this is all the shit that you need to know about. <laughs> Like, this is just, you know, everything legal. And so, yeah, there's, like, three folders about that thick that, like, upon certain events, I automatically inherit, and I'm supposed to start, like, reading. Like, so, I don't fucking know. Um, I've never seen it before. <laughs> Let's see. All right, let me see what, uh, cause fucking 990 was actually describing. Uh, I'm decompressing it with chillness. And a bunch of people probably asking him. Um, what were they? I just learned that the major driving factor in the labor strikes in America back in the 1900s, that actual communists all playing the labor strikes in America, Trotskyists or something like that. You learn something new every day, huh? Since 990. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome home. Um, seriously, I'd suck Steve's dick, and I'm pretty sure I ain't gay as his egg soul. He, he, you know, he earned it. He earned it. He earned it. Uh, someone was born right before his past. His older daughter is way more abased and far less camera hungry. Nice. I wish this was an April Fool's. What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this has been plastered all over the Discord server numerous times. This fucking Dyson shit. 
I want to know if it works though. See, that's 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 my question here. I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, there's been oh god, let's see who's been. Yeah, it's been Cupcake fucking handling that. Um, also, by the way, Google and Apple have just been handing out your private data to the uh, two hackers that pr are pretending to be um, law enforcement because that's a backdoor that they have. Emergency clauses and shit like that. Either way, uh, your data has been leaked a while, like last year. Um, I'm sure, you know, something, something. All right. So here's the that one. And I'll grab both of these. This is, this is stupid. I mean, this is, uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, in 2016, Dyson began working on wearable air purifier when they received their first patent on this device in 2018. The use case was fairly straightforward to mitigate pollution and lower, uh, parts per million, 2.5, uh, 2.5 parts per million level of via delusion by directing a stream of filtered air at the user's nose and mouth. Um, here is looks to be their uh, their product here. That's that's great. Let's see. Oh look, mm. who would have guessed? So how much is it going to cost? Do we have any speculative price point on this, or have they announced? Hear more. Okay. When uh, become available to purchase. Okay. So we're not even sure on price point yet. All right. Yeah. I'm curious. Do they work? Because as horrible and capitalistic as we all know that is, um, We're not taking our foot off the pedal, are we? If the technologists are getting stuff out that works, come talk to me. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It's horrible. All this shit's horrible. We should be, you know, come on. Right? Like, I do what I can. Those that can do what they can. We're not fucking short of moving to the goddamn wilderness and becoming an Ampram. Right? I figure out the largest areas and I minimize them as much as I can to work within still a comfortable first world American lifestyle, right? You max min max this shit, right? Most people aren't going to go all the way. So we have to figure out how to min max this shit. And if we can mitigate some of this fucking capitalist bullshit pollution using what's the price point? Are they effective? Talk to me. Right? It's a fucking... But y'all pay rent, right? Yeah. Y'all pay your taxes, right? <laughs> fucking shit like that. Come talk to me if it works. Um. Oh, Will Alexander. Oh, okay. And uh, non-binary had a link to his fucking reservation. Good, good, good. Um... It'd be Vermont, Marcus. Uh, so anarchist commune when? I mean, you know, give me the money. We'll fucking take that property. Um, fucking. Wow, I thought it was the helmet type thing at first from the visualization. It just looks like headphones. Yeah, yeah, Bavarius. That's the fucking, it really is kind of like, does it work? Um, <laughs> it's not binary. <laughs> Uh, Will Xander, lads, I sell cameras for a steel price. I offer the Nico Back 12 and the DCM Jibbo. Ms. Wicko, uh, as that, is that Willithy, Adam, as fuck, man, you are work, making me work tonight. That Willithy lad just said, the cameras are your, uh, your way to smuggle powder from A to B for 500 extra. I'll make sure to get a working camera. The lads complain you have a pancake, butt. blame it on your pancake lens and start some of the powder you're sm snuggling or smuggling or whatever you're doing with it. 
BruceWillisCamera.com. Get them now, lads. There are lots of necklace air purifiers available, but they all work with negative ions instead of filters and aren't very effective. Oh, that's the first time I've seen you out of ca character, Will Alexander. That's the first time I think I've seen you out of character. You actually commented. That's, that's, that's a fucking moment. You've been doing fucking shtick. The, oh, no, 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 no. No, you, you actually told me straight up one time you were on an alt because you, uh, like, you didn't donate bits because you were on an alt or you were on your phone or something. One other time you've broken character. Rock the fuck on. And you actually had an opinion on the on air purifiers, necklace air purifiers. Uh, Beast, anyone play Mass Effect Quarian vibes? Oh, yeah. Uh, remember when uh, Captain Planet's episode about corporations selling you clean air was speculative sci-fi? <laughs> Cries in millennials. Let's floored for twos. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is a, is, you know, a Vermonter who fucking watched Captain Planet. Yeah, that one, that one cuts a little deep. That one cuts a little deep, my man. <laughs> oh. Gang, gang, stream, streamer, let's be free, says Flyway. Um, Karina totally doesn't imagine her subscription as a jar that says Kai's Food co uh, Community Commune Fund. Um, fuck. Speaking of Bruce Willis, he's stopping his acting career because of a neurological disease. Google it. Yes, I saw that as well. Dude, um, oh God, who else fucking tagged out today too? Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Bruce Willis has aphasia. Um, and Phil Collins got a bunch of shit wrong with him. I don't. I don't know the. I don't know what he's like. He's had a bunch of issues for a while. Um, I don't know what he's about these days. But yeah, he's he's down for the count as well. Um, so yeah, Bruce Willis. Aphasia is trouble speaking. Um, let's see. Catch up, catch up. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, happy nightmares. That's, that's fucking what he's dealing with. So he's giving up acting. I don't know what, what the cause. I just saw, uh, the, the headline and the, like, the tag to it. Um, let's see. Understanding Bruce Willis's aphasia announcement. Um, okay. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of different, there's, there's a few different reasons. Nightmare. Um, you can have the, the brain injury stroke or head trauma. That's, uh, or in the case of primary progressive aphasia, um, that's called PPA brain tissue deterioration, but most forms of aphasia come on suddenly due to injury, but there is a neurological form of aphasia that comes on slowly and worsens over months or years. So he could have any of those. Like he, d it doesn't seem that like he was like, this is the type of aphasia. Yeah. He doesn't seem that like he's like, this is the type of aphasia I have. It was more of a, I have aphasia I'm stepping away from acting. That's the reason. Don't expect to see much of me. So, yeah, and Phil Collins is all messed up. Fucking Phil Spector. Jesus Christ. Um, so his, his reserve is 330,000 acres. I'd like to see it have been much, much bigger. Let's get that, let's get that number pumped up, but that's a nice chunk of fucking land. Oh. <laughs> Caboose. It's rough, isn't it? It's rough. Goddamn youngins don't understand. They don't understand, man. 
it's rough. When fucking, yeah, when, like, when your childhood references are, like, dying, <laughs> you're like, what the f- fuck is going on, man? <laughs> you're old as fuck, man, that's what? You know? When that shit starts happening, you're like, oh. Oh, I'm going to create an art channel, by the way. I thought of that today. Wait. Oh, I didn't even see these motherfuckers. These fucking cupcake bags. Yeah, I didn't even notice these two dumb fucks. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm going to put an art channel in. But, let me see. Yeah, I don't think that's stream safe. (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 I don't think that's stream safe. I don't know if it is. That doesn't feel stream safe. <laughs> that, that, that feels... Uh <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Well, Xander's going to make me work. Uh, oh, it's April 1st. So let's do a part two and three. I offer Steven I offer Steven Spielberg heroin. It's a new research opioid that makes carfentanil look weak. A few nanograms will have you brain dead, passing out and drooling in the best way. Steven Spielberg heroin.com. Get him now, lads. It's been linked to 12,000 deaths in the last months. Oh, but who cares, right? Buy a big supply as soon as possible, you smart lads. Lads, I offer photogra- uh, photography services. I can snap you on the Eiffel Tower. I can catch you falling off the Tower of Pisa. I offer free nude photography, but only to hairless lads under 23. <laughs> Check my portfolio at jakegyllenhallphotography.com. Get your pictures, lads, especially if you're under 23 and hairless. <laughs> I also offer non-human primate photography for a good price. Oh, <laughs> uh, I hope other people actually appreciate what the fuck you do, Alexander. <laughs> oh, you have stamina. Oh, and Zartos, Zartos wants to know: Is the hairless part negotiable? Caboose said, "I do." Yes, you know. <laughs> Count on you to get the humor, Caboose. Uh yeah, I love fucking Will Alexander. Dude, that'd be crazy to go back through it with the archives. And, oh my god, that would be so much work to put together like a t- like a, a fucking it came from Tumblr shit out of Will Alexander's f- shit. That would be dude. That would be work. That would be a lot of work. But holy fuck, that would be amazing to have every single Will Alexander piece. That's ridiculous. Ah. Oh. And now I, feel, I don't feel like starting now, right? Like, there's so much. Yes, pay PM Seymour to read Will Alexander. It's exactly who I was thinking of, too, right? Yeah, you couldn't skip. You'd have to rewatch every stream. It would be a level of dedication. Like, that's just insane. But, yeah, that would be amazing to have those. Uh, moderating intoxicants and eating right is key to health. I got into stir fries in my 20s, and those babies are bomb. Google image stir fry, but the trick is to use zero seasoning when cooking and use only soy sauce to flavor as you lay it on top of hot and steaming bed of rice. I like to build a sauce in the pan. I like to build a sauce in the pan. That's usually my go-to. Make a giant infographic. Oh, my God. Because, I mean, how long... Dude, Will Alexander, you willing to actually break character for a moment? Like, how long you been doing these? You got any idea how long you've been coming around doing those things? Like, how many months? Do you, do you have... Are you willing to... <laughs> Guys. <laughs> uh... It's not a character. He <laughs> fucking barely types amorous. Uh, Marcus Pan Sauce is the easy sluts of cookery. Hell yeah. Dude, I, why, why waste that flavor? That flavor's down there. For twos, everyone. For twos. Hello. <laughs> uh, 
Everything Will Alexander says is 100% factual. I, you know, I, yeah, for sure. Um, Libby restaurant wear. Happy nightmares. This is what this is. This is Libby restaurant wear. If, if you, that's what you're rocking, then yes, that's what I'm rocking. One of the bigger, one of the biggest water glasses you can find going around, and they're fucking, they're built like tanks. Uh, maybe Will Alexander has a friend who wants to come in and explain Will Alexander on Will Alexander's behalf. Yes, yes. If you happen to know a proxy, Will Alexander, by all means, feel free to speak to us through them. Um, I, I, I will happily <laughs> work through relays. <laughs> Oh, uh, what you don't have Waterford's laughing furiously. Oh God, what am I doing with my money, dude? No, you buy a case of these fuckers for like I don't know twenty, twenty eight bucks, something like that. You buy a fucking case of these things. Look. All right, this fucker is solid. Like, you can drop it on a tile floor style solid territory. Like, it's not special. It's just a shit ton of glass. These things are fucking weighty as fuck. And that hurts, right? Libby restaurant wear, honestly. <laughs> not, not, hashtag not sponsored. Fucking, yeah. I love that shit. I've been buying their glasses for a while. Oh my god, that's exactly what I'm rocking right now. Happy nightmares. I want to, I, as, as a fellow person of culture, I see. Right? I, I, I you know, recognize. <laughs> you understand. Those glasses are fucking amazing, aren't they? There's no, there's no going back. You're like, yeah, this is, this is exactly what I need out of a water glass. Fucking, I have a bottle. Yeah, but in house, yeah. It's solid, it's huge, but it still fits your hand. No, it really does. It, it's, you know, you're partially wrapped around. It feels like you have it, and it's the right tech, like, legit. <laughs> Nightmares, thanks for the follow. <laughs> thanks for the follow. Earned off the fucking glassware. Yeah. Dude. I would happily take a sponsorship from Libby Restaurant where, Restaurant where I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck, I tell you at the top of it, every sip, fucking sponsored by Libby Restaurant where. That'd be goddamn hilarious. I've, I've been straight up. Microteak, uh, Libby, and uh, basically Microteak and Libby. <laughs> I'd take their money. My router, big fan. Uh, Vasos de Barrio. I'm Barrio out here. <laughs> uh, all right. So, let's see. What did we get posted up here? Um, wait, why is that in Welcome or Pre? Wait, what? Oh, shit. All right. Um, cop stuff, memes. Wait, no, no, that's memes. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's, 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 that's proper. For those who have never seen, or are new. There's, there's Cappy. There's Cappy. I have been a fan of fucking, <laughs> this has been from the beginning. I, 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 Cappy is an anarchistic capybara. I have a soft spot for capybaras. Fucking Willem Dafoe with a cigarette looking Willem Dafoe with baby capybaras. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Who posted this? Oh, Amorous. 
Despite the fact our enemies have been socialist groups in Germany and we embrace big business, when we cynically utilize the term socialist within our own party name, I sincerely hope in the future it'll confuse the hell out of uneducated bumblefucks in America who will then go on to stupidly mistake democratic socialism or social democrats with our fascist Third Reich and they don't get universal health care in the process. Ha 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 ha. Adolf Hitler, that was May 1st, 1927. Little, little known speech he gave. That's, that, that is a real thing. Um, all right, cool. All right. It looks like he just pulled those out of someone. Um, something of a copy bar on myself, says Bavarius. Uh, are we doing capitalism? <laughs> One more day of job training tomorrow for me in weekend time. Starting to be a field rep or something as I spend my whole day on Google Earth studying highways, byways, and such. Been a delivery driver for 11 plus years before the pandemic hit. Also, I'm an ex-teamster. Always looks good on a resume. Fucking, you're a driver, man. You're a fucking, <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. Copy bars are important. Do copy bars are... Copy bars are what we should all aspire to be, right? Like, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Dude, look at the photos online. Dude, copy bars are chill with everybody. Copy bars are chill with everybody. Like, it's just, you've got, like, fucking crocodiles just laying next to copy bars and shit. You've got fucking jaguars just chilling. Like, fucking, all the way in dogs and everything. Dude, dude copy bars just chill. And, you know, they, they like a good hot spring. If if this if this whole Buddhism thing is a thing, I'm 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 trying to aim right for Capybara, right? I don't you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah enlightenment sure 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 I got a few turns I want to go around though, um, Capybara in a Japanese onsen is that's the highest plane of existence on this world you know that right like Capybaras in a Japanese onsen is just that's it. This is this is what this is the highest plane of existence that you can achieve within this mortal realm. Uh, yeah, the Hindus think it's cows. Nope, it's it's the cappy. It is. It is. It just it is. Hang on. I mean, if you want to fuck. There you go. Yeah. Dude. You got goofy fucking humans fucking putting like fruit and shit in it so it smells great too. It's like aromatic. It's a fucking, you know, it's like volcanically fed hot water. Dude, this is this is just this is shit. Homie. Puka, I want to pet them. I want to be them. <laughs> Fuck petting them. I'm jealous. Yeah, nightmares. Dude, this is the highest plane of existence you can achieve. I'm sorry. Go fuck yourself. It's in Japan. It's in fucking... It's Japan. Dude, it's a thing. Vice did a thing on it, even. Like, it's it's just a thing. They just, they build crazy shit for him. <laughs> yeah. Swaggus lifestyle. All else is miscalculation, says Mr. Sir. Um... Oh, nightmares. Dude, this is like, this is, um, this is like a cat situation. This is kind of like a cat situation. Like, they kind of, they kind of really, 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 really like the copy bars. And like, you know, like when a culture starts to like get really close to worship, it's sort of a, weird symbiotic relationship going on over there. Yeah, they take care of them. They build shit for them. They, you know, whatever. 
they'll, they'll, you know, yeah, people like to come see them. They're an attraction unto themselves. But you know what? As far as like evolutionary sort of symbiotic relationships go to ensure breeding lines and make sure that like, dude, this is, this is the high art. This is, this is like being an upper white middle class uh, golden retriever. Yeah. Yeah, technically somebody probably owns you or you're caught with it. Dude, this is the best thing. It's the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever. Fucking shit. Believe those copy bars are being taken care of. Um... find out okay so first how did copy bars become japan's japan's favorite animal just so you know like that's literally the first one that will pop up for you um during the 1960s they were kept in zoos they were brought over in that era in 1982, a zoo discovered that, like humans, copy bars enjoyed nothing more than a long soak in onsens, hot springs, um, and that's when shit began to take off. Um, holy shit, yeah. Um, yeah, basically all across Japan in natural onsens, like, yeah, there, there was a breeding program, basically. <laughs> And these fuckers are now all over the country in various places. Yeah. They serve a function. It's just a strange... It happens. Societies do this shit, right? Societies do that shit. We do it with our dogs and our cats. Hindus do it with a cow. Japan loves copy bars. Okay. Okay. I don't know, can Canada, is yours the beaver? Do you guys actually give a shit about the beaver? <laughs> Have you adopted a favorite animal up there? Uh, or is it just like everything like uh, it always is? It's just dogs and cats like us. Uh, one day Japan will be run by the copy bars. One day the only thing left is going to be like a handful of Japanese lineages to take care of that forest of theirs where the imperial magic wood was grown and the copy bar onsens and shit like that. Dude, that's going to be that's going to be Japan at one point. It's just going to be these weird familial lineages <laughs> attached to these hyper specific things and the only reason they're breeding is to keep doing the family thing. Like, dude, Japan's got a breeding problem. They're, they're not putting out kids. That's just facts of life. It's the facts of life. If you have an isolationist population that really, really likes to be isolationist and they don't keep a sufficient steady rate of reproduction going, you know, and that's where, that's where Japan is. Dude, Japan's fucking tanking fast, demographically. One of these days, there will be a tipping point where you're like, oh, that's a different order of business for them. Yeah. Uh, nightmare. Sadly, the beaver is mostly a symbol of what settlers made money off of decimating. All right, well, then, no fun with that one, I guess. So it's probably just dogs and cats. Gotcha. Copy bar Akira. Fuck, it said Bavarius. I would watch it. I would watch it beginning to end. Um, nah, it's Oregon. Think Canada's the moose. Uh, favorite zoo animal can be copied. Well, so it would. Okay, so right, just right there. Fucking, so yeah, Beast and Karina both go, yeah, moose. So outside and inside analysis, moose. Raccoons are the next animal to domesticate his Aspen. I could see it. I could see it. I could see it. We could weird them out. It was just, you know, tone them down a little bit. But yeah, they, you know, they got the human hands and shit. That kind of fascinates us. And they're crafty. We like crafty. Um, nine, uh, 990 fucking reminds me of the secret of Nim. A bunch of scientists injecting mice and rats to make them more intelligent and talk. Nazi scientist stuff in children's movie. What? Yeah. Uh, there was, I mean, there's a lot of that shit. There's a lot of that shit. And like you go back and look at kids' films, and like as an adult that you watched, you're like, 
What the fuck was that? Hmm. Just, you know, we didn't give a shit back then. <laughs> uh, uh, Korea says, nah, uh, a, a possum are coming first. Oh, you know what? I would be on Team Opossum. You know what? I'm okay with that, Karina. Opossums, like, here, no, here's the problem. They have to be outdoor opossums, all right? You know how there's, like, you know, indoor-outdoor cats? We need outdoor opossums because their best, like, function is to kill ticks. Dude, they massacre the tick population. Um, so, like, keeping five or six outdoor opossums but making sure that they, the, you know, come winter time, they have like what they need in food stores and shit like that. Like looking out after them, that would be that would be the way to go. Yeah, they wouldn't be a pet; they'd be like a working opossum. Like we have, we still have working dogs. They'd be working opossums. A few people would have would have indoor opossums, but most people would be keeping working opossums probably. <clears throat> Uh, they're the cleanest of field mammals besides mice. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're super valuable to the ecosystem. I'm all for keeping them around us for sure. Uh, I love possums. They're pretty lovable. Says Puka. Yeah, they're not, they're not possums. Dude, possums are fucking mean fucks. Opossums though, super valuable. Keep them around no matter what. Uh, I just want to turn on my sink so my pet raccoon can wash his food. Says Red. <laughs> He could be able, a raccoon could turn the sink on itself. Do they got opposable thumbs? They, they can work a sink. Uh, wait, what's our toes? There's a domestication project on foxes right now, and they already have some results. You can search it up. It's a 60 year old science experiment or something. And then somebody replied to you. I think. No, wait, no. Nope. All right, so. Domesticated foxes. Ugh. All right. Ooh, PBS got shit on it. Yeah, sure. I don't give a shit. This session will be gone. All right. One. Yeah, that fucker's adorable. Oh, my God. I mean, come on. That's just like, that's a way cooler dog. That fucker is just, yeah. Come on. Are genetically fascinating and terrible pets. Yeah, it's exactly what you expect. I mean, that fucker. Well, give us, you know, do you know how long it took us to work dogs over? Give us, give us a while. Fucking, if we were, if we're already doing it, it's going to happen. We've been doing it for 60 years. Just give us another few hundred. And see what, we see what we crank out. I had to learn about the foxes in my current uni module. They've got them uh, showing domestication. Wait, hang on. They got them showing domestication syndrome and everything. Interesting. Foxes are just ginger dogs, to be quite honest, said Red. <laughs> Try watching your old children's movies on LSD. I guarantee you'll have psychotraumatic nervous breakdowns. So we'll have to live in a dark room for the next 10 years. Uh, I mean, you know, LSD's not mine. I'm, I'm more of a shroom guy, but... Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. Jesus Christ. You know what? I think I've actually heard some of this somewhere before. Hey! Okay, so Has... All right. Here's what we've just learned. Has his channel animal, like has his, has his spirit animal, is a, di is a partially... Is a barely barely partially domesticated fox that is a direct result of Lysenkoism. Cool. Cool. That's 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 the symbolic representation for has now. <laughs> Foxes are cat software on dog hardware. Oh. He does that sometimes. He just sips out. Uh wait, it isn't a girl. No. No. It's a fox. It's all, dude, that's all blustering. That's all that, that posturing. That's not gorilla. Um, all right. So this crazy fucker was studying genetics. Um, Jesus 
Christ. Yeah, this is just a stroll down memory lane for executing the scientists and... All right. So, by the 10th generation, 18% uh, of Fox Pops were elite. Okay, so the f most friendly are known as elite. All right. By the 10th generation, 18% of Fox Pups were a world elite. By the 20th, the figure had reached 35%. Today, Fox elite foxes make up 70 to 80% of our experimental selected population. Interesting. And yeah, of course, somebody's genetics project is like, well, we'll study the genes. Uh, most interesting finding is friendly foxes exhibit physical traits not seen in the wild, uh, such as spots in their fur and curled tails. Their ears show weird traits, too. Just saying, like puppies, young foxes have floppy ears, but the, uh, but the ears of domesticated foxes stay floppier for a longer time, which you can probably project that if it's being bred in as an inclusive trait because people want it, then they will eventually just be permanently floppy and there will probably be what an increase of ear infections or something like that is a downstream effect of that um if you watch booba you don't even need the lsd dude i've got i've already got two copyright strikes over at youtube or not strikes warnings or whatever the fuck copyright claims for airing booba twice now dude that intro is amazing Um, all right. I'm still down. I mean, I'm still down. Look at this fucker. We're doing it. Nobody's going to fucking like <laughs> that's dude, there's, there's, there's some shit that I've learned to just like let go over the years that people like rail against Viva Viva. I'm not sure you should watch Booba. With all you got going on, um, I'm not entirely sure you should be watching Booba, but <clears throat> um, copy link. Here you go. Link is in chat. I'm not doing it again. Here is the like four minute and 19 second Booba original intro. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking dude. The shits just, just strap in. Like you're just, it'll get there. It'll get there. Just, just keep watching. It's an intro to a kids show. Yeah, Aspen, fucking Booba's crazy, dude. That shit's just a psychedelic trip for a little kid. Yeah, Karina, nope, not again. No, I'm, I'm. Don't worry, I'm not fucking airing it. I'm not fucking airing it. The opening tone gave me PTSD. That whole, dude, that whole fucking thing is weird as shit. You're like, why is this a kid's show? It's fucking weird. It's this sort of shit you show a stone college student or some shit. Where did this come from? And then you find out it's this woman who's like this epic creator of kid's shows. Like, it, the, the fucking, the team behind Booba is the team behind basically all of the kid's shows. Like, that's just, it's weird as shit. Everything is a psychedelic trip at certain ages. Frazzled, you're 100% correct. Yeah. Dude, watching that shit as a little kid, like as a baby, you know? Fucking just swirling colors and shapes and sounds that absolutely, but somehow tap into the wiring of your brain and shit. Like, this on a fundamental level. Yeah, no, it's straight up psychedelic. No, I'm 100% with you. Um... They kind of look like uncircumcised chodes. Oh, puka. Yeah, they they 100% look like uncircumcised penises. Uh, there's there's a striking similarity. Let's just put it that way. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I know what the Savage Planet is, but I guess now I'm good. Not on, not on certain ones, at least. Uh, let's see. I was six when it came out, but it still was everywhere on the PBS website. Yeah, this here, like, um, Ann Wood, Ann Wood is this woman's name, dude, and she's got a list of like shit people grew up with. Um, 
like the one that everybody's gonna know is like um, Teletubbies. Dude, she's responsible for that shit too. But like Brum, Rosie and Jim, Magic Mirror, like some of this shit is over the uh, over the pond and shit like that, right? She works also internationally. Like uh, Magic Mirror, Tots TV, Open a Door, Bad Jelly the Witch, Teletubbies, Teletubbies Everywhere, Boo Ba, What Makes Me Happy, In the Night Garden, Dip Dap. All right, so there's like a list of these weird fucking kids shows that like, yeah, Ann Wood fucking makes this shit. And Booba and Teletubbies are the two that you are guaranteed to know. Or, well, Teletubbies is the one you're guaranteed to know. Booba is a roll of the dice. Uh, I heard some studies that Teletubbies literally stunted kids' vocal development. Jesus fucking Christ. Hold on. No, I'm... I'm that's... T- Oh, that's deep. All right. So, yeah, there may be some valid criticisms. It, it, it's apparently made by a speech, speech. Like, yeah, like there's. Okay. So, hang on. Um, and would CBE, by the way. Um, yeah, like there's there's claims made about these shows. Interesting. I'm not going to read that article that length, but yeah, apparently it is. It's got some baggage attached. Uh, attached. Marcus said, uh, I went to uh, go look it up to find a picture to prove my point, and I have to confirm. I mean the French movie, not the video game of the same name. Okay. Um, I look back at Rosie and Jim and Tots TV, and if I didn't grow up with those doll puppets, I'd be disturbed by them, says Che. See? It's fucking some of this is across the pond. Like some of this, like the Teletubbies and the 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 Booba maybe North America knows, but like yeah, some shit like Tots TV and Rosie and Jim apparently is across the pond. So, um, yeah, CBE is a commander of the British Empire. Yeah, like it's 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 some of that knighthood shit, right? It's it's that weird royalty nonsense they get up to over there. <clears throat> I, nightmares. I mean, I, look, I haven't looked into it, but there is apparently criticism. Um, I don't know if it's valid or not. But, you know, I like to hear it out at least. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely not what I was picturing. Yeah, that's Okay. Yeah, different Savage Planet. Marcus, definitely a different Savage Planet. Viva said that was interesting. It's it's just it's just weird, Viva. It's just weird. It's a kids show, and that's the intro. Uh, nightmares. I suppose it would depend on like exposure rates, right? Like overall exposure, right? Like, yeah, the 20 minutes doesn't mean shit, but I mean, if you park them in front of it for some God forsaken number, like we do, uh, is Booba supposed to be a ghost or something? Uh, I think they're aliens or magical spirits, fairy people. I don't fucking know, but yeah, they I, I they get I get a distinctly alien vibe. So if you buy the DVD and hit repeat as a babysitter, exactly, beast, exactly. We do that shit. back with more water oh Karina you're here right uh yes you are here did you want to try risk of rain for a minute 
Are you down? Are you near a computer? Is that doable? Is it too late for you? Answer any or all of these questions. <clears throat> uh, che, any of y'all know about the hoobs? No, not off the top of my head. Yeah, w yeah, we can try a run or two. All right, cool. I'll see you. I'll see you in the place where I s see you in the place, and I'll start that shit up. All right. Yeah, nightmares. I don't expect it to pan out. I just, you know, check claims before that sort of situation. All right, where is it? Risk of rain. There we go. All right, we're going to move over. That thing's launching. <laughs> Demon Whiskey Nick. Thanks for the follow. And I don't know if I thanked uh, EM Exotic. We're headed over to, uh, let's see, uh, Hail yourself coming down off shrooms. I work five hours. I don't know what this is, but you seem kind of rad. Hail yourself. I guess I'll follow. Uh, Demon Whiskey Nick, you um, you picked the right night. You picked the right night. Uh, this is just after dark. So we are about to switch over to uh, fucking Risk of Rain, I guess. And one of my mods and community members and the person who gifted me this game... Karina will be joining me on air at some point or another. And we will be playing a session of Risk or risk of Rain. And don't care. Don't care. I know you're hearing it. Don't worry. I will change it. I will get you there. Um, wow. Oh, boo. Lock me in. All right. Video... Yeah, give me that for a second. Really? Even on windowed? Go fuck yourself. All right. Yeah. Right, we'll see if it does, does it automatically. We'll go from there. Nope. <laughs> you know, you always try windowed first. You just, you know, you try it, you see. Mm. There we go. But none of that is set up for gaming. Neither is this, frankly. All right, so add a display capture. Go for an existing. That's main screen done. And then let's move this down a ways. There we go. Now let's sort some of this shit, too. Oh, fuck you. Where should I be? I don't know what this game has. Oh, Karina's is here. Right. There's my cursor. There's my cursor. All right, let's kill this audio. I, I don't. I'm sorry. I really don't like when games pick music. <laughs> Either have a really good banger tr uh, banger soundtrack, or just please don't. It is a banger soundtrack. Though. Uh, it was not working for me at this moment in time. I shall attempt to try it another time then. All right, we'll go there. Uh we should do an hour of optical illusions. That is an idea for another fucking night. Um, all right. I'm going to rock controller on this one. Oh, have you already played the game a bit? 
Uh, I dumped into a single moment and ran a character around. This th this person. This person. I actually don't have your stream up on my PC just yet. Gotta launch that right now. Okay, it's Commando. Oh, the uh, Twin Pistol. Yes. E. I figured balanced, e. probably. Um... I can't try to think the best way to describe him. He shoots faster. He does piercing. He yeah, does a, he does a roll. He's like the fast attack master. I will take it. Um, yeah, and she's the sniper of the game. All right. Uh, what yeah, do we do to do? Oh, that. wait. I'm on single player. That's fucking not where I need to be. Yeah, my game's just loading up. Give it a second. All right. Steam's <sighs> not playing nice. Games what is um caboose do you have this no nope, caboose is fucking substance 3d painter 2022 <laughs> oh you know what let him every time he opens that i'm proud um we both have really bad issues of actually picking uh zartos you have this hands well get in fucking voice chat one you can do it uh we'll fucking move you to on air and then two, uh, I need you on my Steam friends list, my man. I don't know if I have you or not. So, like, if you, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, yang me. Okay. Uh, what's up, you Turkish fuck? I just DM'd you my link just in case for uh, Steam. Oh, is that right? How are you, my man? Good, good. It's been a while we've talked, right? Yeah, dude, it's been a it's been a clip. Um, <laughs> fucking Zartos is older than all of you. Um, fucking. <laughs> um. Yeah, how's uh how's uni going for you? Uh, uh I I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Am I invisible? No. Is Kai invisible? Uh, no. Nope. There you are. Invite sent. Um, and oh, you're inviting me. Yeah. Well, I've actually got a bunch of shit that works for all of us. Oh wait, no. This I remember how this game works. I can, I can join you. I can join. You. Oh well. And it'll still be able to. We'll still be able to use it. I backed out, so I don't know if. Oh wait, okay, you're um, in. the invite still counts. All right, Kai, do you just have the you know friend code instead of the link? Yeah, sure. It is much simpler. Ah, mm. I need to do a bunch of shit to sign up from the uh, web browser. Dude, this game just wants my cursor. <laughs> like, it's it's kind of fucking there we go there you go jesus christ um red yeah get in there i'll fucking try and hey my cursor's back yeah red get in voice chat i'll move you over do i have you um fuck it demon whiskey nick still ignoring the thing but that's okay thank you for the sub demon um, do I have you on my friends list, Red, already? If not, um... Okay, you can start the lobby at any point. Mm. This is just the mid section. So start game. Yeah. All right. And oh God, all right. Uh, friend code in case red. I don't have you. How do I send an invite from here? Are you there, Red? 
or did or did Red just join the on air call to still type anyways? I don't know. Got to get those immediate call outs to your teammates, I guess, or at least from your teammates. <laughs> um, well, it's mostly just screaming for help, no? <laughs> they are on my ass. They're on all of our asses. Who do I actually play? I'm just trying to think. It's mostly going to be... Yeah, sure. Alright. And why is Zartos not in this uh, lobby? You can still invite them. Like, shift tab and invite them. to watch <laughs> and wait I could have sworn I saw oh there it. it is click the lobby button so sorry shift tab again man my computer Top is right, not lobby button. Button. this game And red, I don't know who the fuck you are on on uh, on fucking Steam. Let's see. I don't know if you've been telling me in chat. <laughs> no. All right. If Britain's been like typing in a voice chat instead of like no, I've got chat. I've, I've got VC up just in case. Okay. Just distant red. All right. Uh, Zartos, how much have you played this game? Um, a bit. Although I don't think I've beaten the final boss yet. That's okay. Red, I don't He's have you on my rather list. Rather hard. I sent you a DM with my friend code. Red. Add me. Oh, actually, I think I beat him, but then I I couldn't escape because I wasn't fast enough. Oh, uh, yeah, that is one of the cruel endings, too. It still counts. You just don't get the escape bonus or something. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Oops. There we go. What do you guys think? Do, you, do we use artifacts? Or do we go a fresh... Let's just do a standard game, I guess. Yeah, I was thinking it. Since Kai has never played it. Yeah. Oh, should we start from the drizzle? Or should we at least go to Rainstorm? Just start at the beginning. I usually just... Go ahead. Start at the beginning. There is no oh, beginning. This difficulty. is strictly difficulty. Well, and the difficulty what is, what is, is a meter the... that just slowly climbs. Do you want easy or normal? Easy. Fuck that. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> And easy is just how long we're in easy. Whatever. It always gets to hard mode, no matter mm -hmm. what, by the end. There we go, loader. Melee, melee. Alright, we need range up in here. Got it. Oh, were you melee as well? I've never seen that character. Uh, no. Captain is um, mid. He's a mid-range fighter, like Kai would be. Ah. But Bandit... Bandit's a long-range fighter akin to Huntress. You can also change. <laughs> Day five of no gay sex. My senses are dwindling. This is stereophonic boots one. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you don't want to lose the superpowers, you better get on it. Only one person needs the Survivor of the Voice DLC for us all to have it. That is beautiful. I appreciate this game. It's made by an indie company, and they know how to love their fans. So, if you see any like numbers that look like ammo, don't worry about them. They're not ammo. They'll replenish in a moment once you get some kills. Um, enemies on the rarest of occasions will drop items, 
but in reality, you're gonna be looking for chests to open. Oh, is this an exchange chest? Is there, uh, is there fall damage? Ah, uh, yes, uh, but it's not a lot, because a lot of characters yeah. have double jumps and shit like that. So, like, you can usually get around it. So, your LB, that should be a dash, right? It is. That will negate fall damage if you do that wall fall. Do I need to touch those coins, or do they just pop out and pop into our? They're automatically filling all of our. All right, good go. All right, guys, we're gonna do item unity if you guys don't mind. So no hoarding. I don't know what that means. We're gonna try and actually, uh, you know, divvy up the chest for people, yep. especially for our new players. What I'm hearing is this game is one of those games that has like a competitive nature to it because they're not giving equal loot out. No, they give um, equal <laughs> money. What they don't do is they don't stop a player from unlocking every chest and taking them if yeah. they got them first. So, so like, you can just be a DK see, then get everything. If you're on the spiral tower. Alright, so there's plenty of chests around for you to find, but, like, there's a bunch near us. This, I, this map is pretty cool. Is this a DLC? I don't know. I thought I feeling like that. Hey, bitch. I don't know if I'm making it. It's actually a feeling like that. I'm going back to the end. Yeah. Alright. And because we're on easy, we are actually allowed to waste time a little. That will not be like, a luxury. I don't like games that have me on a timer. That's <laughs> that's never a good feeling. What the hell are these things straight out of Homestuck? These fucking liquor slime things. They're adorable. They're fuzzy manta rays that shoot. Ooh, okay, so there's the distance. Got it. You know what? I want them. That got us from... <laughs> Four, two, five days, that's adorable. It's like being vegan, you gotta stick to the contract, bro. I know, right? Wait, PK people get superpowers, says Viva? Yes! We get, get, we get superpowers. Oh, if you ever see something that looks like a little pill sticking out of the ground, always click it. That's actually just like a cache that will get all of us coins. Uh, I just sacrificed my health and then got blasted. Oh no! Well, Zartos' items will go to Kai. <laughs> Quite unfortunate. Alright Kai, time to start buying some items. This is a roguelike game, you want to start stacking things in ways you like. So there's three items on this, once you click one of them, they'll disappear. You've got a... You've got a heal when you stand still, it's this mushroom. You've got an armor plating. And you've got a delayed heal with that PC. Oh, you grab the mushroom. I like infinite health roads. You didn't get the item, right? He didn't you, take you it up, I will know. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, so oh, when so you stop, things. you'll drop an aura of healing that affects you and anyone around you. As well, if you see seeds, like, you probably want leech seeds from what you're looking at. You want leech seeds and health packs. So if you see a case with, like, a health pack on it, pick that up. I'm also trying to buy us as many healing drugs. Hmm. Yeah. 
Ow! God, I love being a cowboy. Um, has anybody found the boss portal yet? Red? What is that item? It's like Mentos. Thank you, Red! Uh, it's the one where you can't get gold when you take damage. Yeah. Red, since Red can't hide, uh, they are utilizing the middle mouse click button to ping everyone. So, Kai, I've got another three choice thing over here for you. Shooting things. You're doing things? I said I'm shooting things. Let me just Alright. So, Anna, you are looking at bleed damage, you're looking at uh, concussion, or a random basic item. Mm, opinions? Uh, concussion is going to help you get out of situations. Bleed is going to help you do more damage overall. It jumps down on you. It's right below. These, if you ever see something that like, gives you a one item symbol, they expect you to spend the night and get the item that's floating by the No one saw a thing. No one heard a thing. We're all right. It's easy. That crash ship was important. Nothing inside it. Oh shit! There's a red chest. That's Kai. We're giving that red chest to Kai. It's a guaranteed damage item. Stop your anti-heal shit. Or are those like enemy healers? Or is this oh oh somebody opened it? Never mind. Okay, red. Red, you should be pointing out chests instead of just opening them for yourself. Okay. I'm just pointing at the, the pretty color shooty thing. Yeah, very good. Um, okay, All I'm right. thrashed. This shit looks fun. So. I like the pillars in the distance. Uh, let's see. Fucking hail all of you, said Demon Whiskey Nick. I don't even know what these are. Right. This game Demon is the Danny DeVito meme as a game. I'm not even sure I know what the... Oh, she's so I just started shooting. like a purpose here uh we're trying to collect items like that's, we're trying to get stronger and then we're gonna uh hit the teleporter to bring the boss out uh. it's a roguelite like we're trying to gather our items and then fight the boss in each level all right so there's another shop over there Yeah, let's go get those for coming. That was my first reaction with Kai. Oh, wait, Kai, if you want more, if you want better money, I just pulled it down. Uh, I've heard big 80s hair reference to his nail claw and stuck in my head. Oh my god. I'm doing this thing again? The glasses are crit damage. Uh, the firework is it sends a firework when you open a chest to deal damage to enemies, and the other one uh, when you are out of combat heals you. The slug. So yeah, good choice on that. Down there is another stack of your mushrooms. I pulled it, but you probably want it. Mushrooms. Floating pool. Never even seen that. Oh, is that like how they introduce the key parts now? Like there's actually gonna be broken key parts. What are these Mento things? I'm I'm just too curious now. 
Roll of pennies, gain gold when taking damage. Cruel, but okay. Let's get back. Let's get back to that teleporter and do that. Yeah. Just stonedly fucking shooting random shit. I'm just running across shit. I'm stonedly shooting at things. That's that's just that's yep. my that's my role. It's the game though. It is much slower pace than I'm used to because of the, you know, level, but we will, it will catch up. It doesn't stay like this first. Oh, it's just goop. I'm just in goop. some of my paddles that right button is uh, the right bumper is fucking I don't like that map I want to map it to one of my paddles ooh there's sprint much better two stack on that item alright let's see if we can get some stack up Mission, teddy bear, make mushroom. Not terrible. Oh wait, can we buy all three of these now? Yeah, it looks like that's what oh. just happened. It might be a chance. These you okay, oh, sorry. Not so Kai, these used to be <coughs> when you bought one, all three were closed. So like, I was actually surprised. Alright. Uh, Kai, take this teddy bear. You really want this teddy bear. It's a small chance to just ignore uh, him. Alright, so that's my jump. Alright, so that's on paddle. Cool. What have I done? High damage hits also create unstable black holes, you charge it over time. I don't know what I've been done, but I got corrupted. Hey. Now we can run through the teleporter. I don't care, my squid turrets, you may go. Does Zartos come back in the next level? Yes. And I just if realized Zartos has played this game before, and if Zartos has played this game before, they're used to this experience. If, if you die once on a level, it, it's kind of shitty watching people collect items. But then, if they help you catch back up, it's all the more satisfying. This point since this is just the first level. Yeah, exactly. Like, the good shit's not even here yet. <coughs> Where the fudge is the teleporter? When you die later on, it becomes very much harder to catch up. Yes, that is true. Night caboose! <gasps> that is beautiful. I just have a small chance of causing a black hole. I love it. Alright, nothing seems to be happening. That's the portal. Hey, I found the portal again. Goop. Oh, uh, I didn't think Goop I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna fucking... Yeah, you guys can say. Um... Oh, shit. Ah, I need to actually do things. God damn you. God damn you all. I'm 
Whoa! I'll shoot the other one. I'm sorry for causing a black hole. Doesn't hurt you too, does it? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so I okay, so we each get one leaf team, I get two. Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, so Kai, go pick up those two leaves there. I think Every... Kai just picked up five items from there. <laughs> no idea. I'm literally nice. just running and shooting. That's it! Oh! Wait. How many stacks of mountains did we have on that? So two of those are ours. Yeah, the blue ones, right? Yeah, that's what those yellow... Okay. Here we go, I think. All of our spare money gets turned into XP to help level all our base stats. And Zathos is back. Sorry for the wait, my friend. Quite alright. Okay. This level is new to me, and God, this right game just keeps getting prettier. There's a big chest here, I give you. 41401, there's a big chest right there. Um, yeah, this is one, right? Yes. Alright, primary. Waterfalls are friends. Right, Alright. Ow! Let's try that. Oh, I have to do something. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Ooh. Are you... Well, we got back the buy one, lose the other two system. There's a rat. I think it's a percent chance to not close. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. Never let those turret dudes just wail on our defenders. They, they, they just kill everything. Shiny, what's so this? Fast. So if you pay for that, it creates a healing aura. I don't care. I hope Zarkos is catching up on their own as best as they can. 
If anything, I can help you buy some things if you need me. Oh, yeah. More bullet. Oh, I'm falling. <coughs> Alright, alternate three. Alternate shooters are all recruiting oh. for the war. We have no idea it's actually happening on the moon right now as we speak. 990, you just fucking, you cracked it, man. The team's coming to your house, though. Like, it's, it's happening. You, you figured some shit out. You shouldn't have figured out, my man. Oh, God, my contacts are so dry. Between, between the tobacco <clears throat> and the um, gamer eye of just fucking staring off in the distance and not blinking enough. I just learned my black holes don't do damage, they just magnetize people, and I'm far more okay with that now. Oh, yes, please. Red has been typing right. in game chat. What? Where? <clears throat> Probably gaming. On the dis Do you mean on the Discord server oh. or some other shit that I'm not even aware of, Red? I don't see an in game. Nope, he's using in game chat that flies past us. Oh shit, as, okay. Like, in well, I mean, at least we know where to look now. Yeah. Alright, if you have any unwanted items, you can trash them and then turn them into something you want. Only by random. It doesn't let you choose, does it? No, no, no. Uh, there is trash cans where you can specifically choose an item to scrap, and then it uh, prioritizes the scrap when printing items. Okay. Like that's here, cool there's a trash can. Ooh. Yes, I'm up here now. Oh. Yep. Just look. <laughs> Any luck. Zarto, did you find a syringe dispenser? Yeah, I did. Where? Uh, let me ping it one second. Also, I just got a flame zone. So, we are there. 60. Ooh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Zarto. Oh, and I found the teleporter. Yeah. Uh, to let you know, Kai. Yeah. Uh, syringe is base attack damage. I'm uh, sorry, base attack speed and reload. Oh, I saw one of those. They're highly coveted. For Who's on one of those 3D printer thingies? I'm going back for it if it's real. I see a green printer. What is it printing? Ah, it's not worth it at all. I made that. And you said there's a trash can somewhere as well? Yeah, uh, it's next to the printers. This thing? What is this thing? No, that's the printer itself. Well, I see a syringe in one side of it. No, oh, the red, red just pinged it. Yeah, okay, so further away than we thought. Got it.
flamethrower robot? There's also an uh, armor piercing realm print. I will take two more characters. Fucking 990. <laughs> it's Beavis that the way you all just indiscriminately start blasting at everything that moves, people could think this is a how to be a cop simulator. <laughs> Accurate. Ah. ah. Not at all. These guys aren't as nearly as well armed as our cops are. Oh, sorry, Zarthos. I thought you were closer. Uh, I'll just move. Oh, they updated how this thing functions. What are these balls of doom? Oh, get away from that. Get away. It's draining your health. Don't just pick up anything. Well, oh, I a, yeah, there's a there's a mired urn if someone wants that, or it's an infusion. I picked up the infusion. Oh, actually, the urn might have been better for me. I just wait now. Oh, that's true, dude. Time to duck. You're spot on there. That's fucking true. <laughs> what we're shooting at isn't unarmed enough for the cops. No, we're doing Pinkerton sorts. We're just trying. We're just finding unarmed citizens that we consider native. Oh, uh, it's gonna charge on us. All right. Uh, what is a? I don't know. What are these things? I know Kai oh, wants sorry. to infuse it. You know what? I've never taken the Meyer gun before. I'll take it. Second health from nearby enemies while in combat. That's actually really good. Damn samurai guy. But okay. We learn, we live and learn about new items. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Red. Do you do the thing? Oh, yeah. You just tap E on it. Oh! <clears throat> did we activate the portal? Yeah. I was just trashing items. Oh shit, sorry. Oh, I got out of the map? Uh, hey, guys, where are you? <laughs> fucking, except in, video, <coughs> except in video games, you don't confuse your standard issue firearms that goes boom and say your taser that goes bzzz. I am. Yeah, you might need the floor. Are you, are you really? I am. There's like a small gap. Here, which is place me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I I can't I can't affect you. I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. I'll just Maybe hang around we... here. Waiting for the and angling jumping out of will happen. Yeah, I'll just try like this. Oh, uh, Red said, uh, nah, you're good. I barely need any of those items. Why am I hurting? Look at this is. Guy, they're running away. Shoot him in the back. In the back. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Yeah. How do I stop this fucking? I don't know how to stop this thing. It's gonna kill me. Hey, what's happening? Oh, waiting for you to see that. Yeah, that was a new void trap that I had no idea how to stop it. Maybe there was a button somewhere else on the map you had to click. Yeah, that thing's annoying. That, like, death aura? Yeah, yeah. I have no idea how to stop it. I ran, I ran into it not paying attention. I was like, ow, this hurts. This is hurting. If it is just finding all of these, like, psychic looking dudes on the map and killing them, I'm going to be upset, but I think Red's about to prove us it's just that. I'm not lazy, I'm not lazy, Mom. I'm saving energy, I'm ser saving reserve energy for a war on Alpha Centauri LV426, and no, I'm not cleaning my room, my ROTC recruiter forbids it. I mean, that's a perfectly reasonable thing. Shooting. So that's done. So, okay. That doesn't. Turn that off whatsoever. Brent's looking for it. Like, I'm watching him. He's out doing things. Zartos is fucking stuck. I... Like straight out stuck. <laughs> I'm seeing this. It says I got into the level. I <laughs> I got pushed. In. Take a screenshot though. The the game designers ought to know this is a space that they're doing things they can spawn at. This map is brand new to the new DLC, so... I posted a screenshot in the game and chill. Okay. Kill the thing that took a while to kill. A bug report. What's this thing that says 50% HP? It'll take 50% of your health the moment you pick it up, it'll give you a corruption item. What's the corruption item? I don't know. No, I mean, like, I what's, my... what, what is it, what's corruption in this, is that good or bad for me? <clears throat> it's the new stuff, like, whatever the purple aura is, it's like void powers. Oh, okay. Well, so, like, I summon the black hole. I get fucking HP like a motherfucker. I get a plasma shrimp. While I have a shield, fire missiles on every hip, corrupts something. All ATG missile mark twos or something. Okay, yeah. You want to now desperately look for shield generators. I mean, I have a Which... bubble around me. Nope. I'm not shooting missiles, though. It, it is projecting a shield of some sort, and you do have a little bit of shield. It's that purple thing at the end. But it says it'll, it stacks with anything that's considered shield. 
and shield is a item type. Okay. So yeah, it, they look like wristwatches. Kind of. Take the yeah, leaf Zarkos from this guy. Get out of there. Or kill All right, hold on, like, Red. Let on. me. I'm running at you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Zarkos, is there like press escape and like? Kill yourself button or something. Oh no! Well, you need to clip through and like, actually just things. fall because My... you know if you fall in this game, it doesn't kill you. It just puts you back on the map. What am I They're supposed to be doing? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying everything, dude. It's just one clip. Only Oh. Uh. All right, I see. Oh, yeah, I something. see. I see. We got a legendary. Apparently, I got really lucky. I have a, a seven leaf clover or some shit like that. It's a fifty-seven leaf. Red items are more great than what they do. They have like wide range. Oh yeah, I'm shooting missiles. Leaf. Okay. I think that's the vaguest item there is. So now that you drop your shield, it's Yeah, now it's normal. <laughs> it's kinda ridiculous. The uh, build I have is kinda fucking stupid. Like, it's, it's fucking, dude, it's just... I gain health from the kills. I gain health from, like, it's, it's kinda... Okay. What the clover does is the clover is an item in Risk of Brain 2. The clover makes random beneficial effects more likely to occur, to occur for the holder and as such the counterpart to the purity which makes beneficial effects less likely to occur. It affects all random effects except tougher times and I believe tougher times is the effect that controls teddy bears. Yeah, teddy bears don't stack on that. They have their own, but everything else. So, like, if it's a five percent thing to shoot, you're gonna land that five percent way more. Than you think. Why do I? Yeah, I seem to be doing some sort of corrupted damage as well. Oh, that's a wandering boss. I'm falling back if you lose all your items. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's fine. When we go to the next level, I'll just be missing teleport. It's as if I just died as soon as we entered this level. What'd you do? Yawn. Why are you dead? It's a yawn. Is that why I'm dumb? No, I said, why are you dead? Uh, I've been dead for a while. I know, why? What'd you do? I was in the corrupted circle. Ah. Uh. Which rock is that? Red knows that he'll give us the rundown to the past later. Let's go run it, 
red thing. Let's see. <clears throat> Your mission to find the portal. Oh, red maybe. How do I get that? Oh, wait, there's the thing. There we go. Red, carry us to the next level. You guys are demolishing the boss. So the thing is, the first level we had mountain on. Which literally... We actually may have had two levels of mountain on. Maybe red place one too when I wasn't looking. Mountain basically tri doubles if not triples the difficulty of the next boss fight. But it triples if not... It, it doubles if not triples. I mean, just spawn the end of the boss. If, if there was gonna be one, it makes it two. But it also doubles the rewards, so... I should reconsider playing Risk of Rain, seeing as there's little to no risk of rain during certain portions of the year in Australia, and this is causes large wildfires. I would say that's pretty insensitive. You're right, Jay Miles. You know I agree. Yep. Time to boycott. Hashtag cancelled. <laughs> Not cancelled. Consequence culture. I do actually agree with that on the whole, but that is actually a moment. I'm gonna cancel this. Is, uh, I'm offended. This is the future that the left wants. Gameplay, goddamn video game. That box is also yours, Kai. Alright. Alright, Zartos, be greedy. Be greedy, Zartos. Just go for it. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty yeah, starship to Yeah, But, just be greedy. <laughs> we can do this if we hoard everything. Yeah, oh my god, boss can go. Stay away from the wandering boss. What is that zone? It's just. Takes over your health. Oh, yeah, so that's purple zone. Okay, so see this thing with the like eye on the forehead? It's gonna keep doing it. Until we kill everything that hits the eye on oh. the head, that's not going away. Oh. I had to watch red on how to win. It's like Mass Effect, the uh, assuming red. Oh, my black holes don't even affect us. Man, I was saying sorry a lot or for nothing. Shocker. The Canadian apologized unnecessarily. I'm oh, sorry I'm such an inconvenience. Oh my god, they deal so much damage. Did 
you do some sort of fucking chest or some shit? I saw the sears- it feels searing pain, but gained 349 gold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, there's like a sacrifice monument where you just give a percentage of your health and then it gives you money. Yeah, I d okay. So yeah, I did one of those for an item. Uh-huh. But... Like, I gave I'm health to back. Die. Oh jeez, Will Xander. God damn it, man. <laughs> Alright. How am I gonna do this? What do you make of all these new kidney healing courses for astronauts? Elton John, the Tesla guy, is coming out with this new kidney healing course for SpaceX astronauts. I heard it's legit. It has this famous biophysicist, Kirk, uh, Jerk Mason, who argues that there's only one kidney in the universe and it's traveling forward and backward in time, giving the illusion of everyone having their own kidney. Hard science, man. But I'm skeptical of Elton after he messed up with Bolivia, and he's probably, but he's probably a good lad. Fucking... <laughs> Oh, Will Alexander, and thank you for those biddies, my man. Fucking make me work on that one. There's a lot of missile drones up top. Alright. Um, Red, do you know how to summon the secret boss here? Shoot the eggs. If you see eggs in the map, give them a smash. No, it's not all. all right. Yeah, you'll see pink text appear on the side of where I'll say, like, you hear... Ah, there it oh. is. Uh, so you yep. hear distant whirring. That. And it's because of that thing. You stay there. Don't you fucking move. No, stop moving. No, don't. I'm not supposed to be down here. This is dangerous. Not a good place to be. Nope! Yeah. Cause this is, yeah, this is the way where everything pretty much starts getting life steal. Ooh. Alright, well that can be fun. I saw a legendary chest by the way. It's not a terrible looking game, but you don't really notice much of it. You just get into this sort of... You know, shapes and colors. The overall ambience is pretty good. 
I mean, uh, you did disable the music. Oh, yes. So... <laughs> I have it disabled, but I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know how these fuckers feel about their OST. It has a desultation vibe. It's, it's pretty uh, cool when you're uh, yeah, just chilling. It's, it's explorative, like, synth wave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, so I have a I have a, a hard block on those fifty percent health. Those don't affect me. Oh, you mean they don't affect you? I mean the first hit delivered from an enemy is nullified on my character due to my lucky chance and one of the effects I have, and that counts as a hit, it seems like, so when it goes for my 50% oh. health, it doesn't take any. Yo, what the fuck? I can just do those for free. Go test it on a sacrifice. So I good. just did. That's where you really I just it. did. No. Uh, Is it just like half the health, double the damage? So you have... You just have a quadruple health, uh, damage for free. Yeah, apparently. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, like, it seems- dude, I've got- yeah. <laughs> Even when the chance doesn't kick in- yeah, I already did one of these. Honestly, it's- it's based off the chance. I have a RNG roll for the first hit from an enemy being completely nullified, and due to the lucky clover, it seems like, I don't know, two out of three of those, but my character heals so quickly that, like, literally within three seconds, I have all of that health back, plus my shield. Is anybody uber rich right now? Come here, Kai. You can open this. Coming. There's a pure golden chest. This is a new item. Where do I? Oh, it's... And you're the only one who can open it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, uh, it gives a legendary item. Oh, like... Guaranteed? Yeah, guaranteed. Okay, so it's like the uber rich chest. Got it. Yeah. Alien head reduces cooldown for oh, skills. Oh, that's so good. That's a really good one. It, it reduces all the skill cooldowns. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Universally, even your like hard. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Ah, I wish I had my dash was a little lower though. Frankly, you can't stack it. Quite anymore. Now yeah, we, we actually uh, Characters that have a dash, uh, it's super good on, on those characters with that item. Which one? The alien head. Oh, okay. Since you can just basically dash infinitely. Yeah. Yeah, if I can get more of that. There's another legendary item, which... Uh, makes it so your dash ability can stack, so you can just like do it twice back to back. Yeah, and yeah, Beast, I think I accidentally met him. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Uh, and I have... Oh, there. Let's see, I have crits, and I now I have Dale's bonus damage to nearby enemies. Shall we start the fight? I'm coming. Yep, yeah, we're all here. Okay. I'm above are you. Are you here? Oh! I was looking at the wrong spot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could survive a lot of I can just tank a lot of this shit. Yeah, you see that? Like, it's just the boss tried to hit me and it was just blocked. Now it's hitting me. It's literally underneath. Take 
Genesis loop is. Oh, I just died. And I, and Pro probably the right place to die. Zarkus is caught up. Yeah, I it. Although I'm not dealing much damage. I'm not either, but we survive. That kind of Uh huh, yes. Taking trophy heads now, didn't that cause your military trouble for like three hours? Viva, viva, viva. I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? Sometimes, sometimes your military goes abroad and takes trophy heads. <sighs> Oh, shall we go to the shop? We can go to the void. Oh, there it is, yeah. Did we go to the shop or the next level? Oh, this is the shop. Oh, I fell out of the map again. <laughs> as long as you keep falling, you'll just pop back up the top. Yeah, because I didn't get stuck. Do not shoot the salamander. We will have a bad time. Just letting you know. Oh, well, I've heard about that. What's up, homie? What's going on? You're crazy. I don't think I want to run the base. Lizartos is going for the red build. Fair. What is this item? Can I say hi to him? I don't. He seems fun. I want to hang out with you, bro. Um, I don't even have enough. I don't. Oh, and it's only that. You guys want to do the time. void? I. That's gonna be the new void. I'm gonna say no. What's this stuff new over void. here? Did they change it? What's what yeah, is we're what's lunar all... bud? Okay, all of it's those A is a secondary currency. You have three currently. It's the old B, one. None of those are purely positive effects. I don't like that. Those are all high risk, high reward effects. Okay. Um, some of them replace your attacks. Some of them make you shoot gold. Some of them, like, it's... I'm not going to touch yeah. it. I'm not a gambler. 990. Uh, oh, okay. What are you two doing? We are not doing the new void. I'm so tired. It's not the new void. Look, he, he said it's the same. It's still the same, but the DLC is entirely about the void. I mean, are it we, had the we... void monsters. There. I think we should do the void. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, here we go, okay. Let's go. Doing? Portal? Is way uh, it's down here. Jump down. Nope. Oh. Sorry, I took the portal. Somebody, you took oh. the portal. Oh. Ha. Oh damn it. I decided for it. Let's just fucking play, guys. <laughs> what you get for? Oh, my legendary item. The void is an extra level that doesn't have a time limit at all, and it's basically like a semi endless challenge mode. Oh. Uh, oh. Eight god man. He's a legendary really item at the end. And there's a lot of chances for legendary items. Oh, we're already on ha 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 at that point. Can I do this one for some reason? Alright. That 50% health thing wouldn't let me do it. I think they're on me. We are already at this point. Yeah, so, uh, it's always level 5. Five, 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 five. If we choose to do the boss and then carry on. Oh, yeah. yeah, this yeah. style of enemy always annoyed me. The Russian nesting dolls ones. Where you kill one and then there's two of them, and you kill two of them and there's four of them. Those are always obnoxious. Oh, 
fuck was that? Oh, and congrats. Good on you, 90, uh, 990. Start calling you 990. What's going on with 9? Ah, fucking 13 months off cannabis. Used it to quit alcohol after both girlfriend and dad passed. Uh, so. Good on you, my man. Ooh, oh, no. I spent all of my money on the shrine. Hey, and if Nelson is like fucking satisfying, that's great. Oh, I found the incredible candy. Oh, yeah. you're open. what it looks like. Oh, you lucky bastard. We can't do anything in these fields. We disable items too. Yeah, that stupid weird fucking fe void field shuts down items a little too. What was that thing? The sides pretty. Teleporter thingy. An electric vase? Or electric vase? Or eccentric. Schedule help me out big time, at least being in bed, resting my body, letting it unwind and release me to go get body. It's good on you, my man. Not gonna be the way I live my life, but you know, it's not a problem for me. <laughs> I'd much prefer it this way. But you do you. Oh, the boss is up here. They don't wander in box. There's a lot of them on this map. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, uh, it's a solar blast. It keeps it's a shame. taking your health down. Who 
bitch. Get off me. What's fucked here? Oh, you know what? Go off the edge. Go off the edge. Why are you bullying off the edge? Because the fucking hippity hop looking motherfucker stun locked me and I fucking right by the edge. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, I'll just go off the edge. Oh. Alright, you know, Kai needed Kai should have used that item. Yeah. Shit. Oh, but I needed that. I'm a mile away from you guys anyway. Night nine. Take care of yourself. Have a good Sleep one. Sleep well. Special skill corrupts all fuel cells. I have fuel cells corrupt. Now, if there's a corrupted syringe, I'm all over it. Oh, here we go. Um. Wait, did we do the boss effect? Yeah. Oh. I thought the bosses are here. <laughs> okay. I guess it was that big yellow dude. Yeah. Was... No. Nope. Oh, was I not. Know it. But it's still the same boss. Same guy though. <laughs> Yeah, well, I keep just endlessly whacking you with my pictures. What a fucking useless late game item. <gasps> Watch out guys, the game's actually gonna try and kill us before we even get to the final boss. Well, did you die? I died, but I, I picked up at least one boss item, so I'm not losing anything. Really. Oh, I'm gonna die. Apparently, I 
I just got deja vu. I don't know what that achievement is. Well, this looks like a giant boss arena. This isn't where we fight it. This is just to intimidate us. We are going to the boss arena. This is its mud room. So northern. Mud room. So fucking northern. What else would you call an antechamber? Without sounding like a fucking dork and saying antechamber. We don't really have them down here. Oh. Like they're they're a northern thing. When you hit this part of the country, dude, that that's not a design feature. The little room before you enter the rest of the house. Yeah, so you can take off your fucking shit. mud boots and your snow gear and all that shit, dude. It's fucking dry as a bone here, ninety nine percent of the time. There's no need okay, for it. Okay, but like when you walk into a house, like there's the shoe rack and the coat hangers and all that shit, right? It's, I mean, you know, it's it's known as a mudroom in most places where you find them. Why is no, it? but I mean, like, when you first enter your house, there's a shoe rack and a coat rack there. Right? No, no, there's a fucking closet right by the door. There's, there's two... There's two entrances to this house, well, three if you count coming in through the garage. If you come in through the garage, you come in through the laundry room into the well, kitchen. Just, just says fuck you and your, you don't get to, you don't get to go to the escape pod. It just, you just walk right up and over it. Well, this Maybe. is fun. I kind of like it though. That was fun. Is, I do like it that it just instantly picks you up and you walk to it. Zartos! Yeah, hello? Where are y'all? Uh, I was ordering food once again. Um... It's so far ahead, though, is what I'm saying. There's an ambulance passing there. Uh, B said, when I first enter my apartment, I'm in the living room. If I come through the back, I'm in the kitchen. That's good to know. Because I have no health and only have shields. I always have my light drink. Which doesn't do anything for my shields though. Fuck straight. Worthless combat. Okay, we gotta do the parkour challenge to get over there. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't make the second part. I didn't make it, period. Still falling. In my house, Diva, if you come in through straight through the front door, what happens is on the left, there will be a, like, a coat closet, um, and then you will walk into what is effectively the study. Um, these days it has my stepfather's, uh, tower, which is my old tower, in there, but, yeah, there will be library shelves, and, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, it's an apartment, right, Beast? Most fucking... Most of that shit is not designed for us.
We are trying to keep up Zarkos and this in red, but neither of our characters can just like fucking dash through the air or grab the book. <laughs> I mean, I'll say try. I'm not really trying. Um, Diva, so you just go from room to room? Uh, yeah, kind of. I need to be over there. Jesus Christ. Alright, already I hate, like, these levels. <laughs> we just put it that way. Uh, this is the last one. This is just annoying level design. It's because of your character, by the way. Uh, you don't have many mobility abilities. I gotta tell you, even if I had them, I'd still find this level annoying. It's just too big for what it is. And I agree with. Yeah, this thing should be like. A quarter the size. Maybe even less. A little bit too much aesthetic when you creating this level. Oh, I the found the cauldron which gives you legendary items if you put five rare in. It gives the afterburner. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm not like also, if you, like, I mean, you know, from a design perspective as far as multiplayer goes, if you are trailing, there's nothing. Sure, enemies pop up from time to time, but, like, all the loot will be bad. Like, it's just, this is just not great level design. Is a new game mode? Your hallway wraps around the living room with a big eye-shaped wall that doesn't need to be there. And you got two rooms Just and a bath along the L leading to the kitchen. Alright. Or, okay, big L-shaped. Is there like a boss at the end of this or some shit? Yeah, this is the final boss. We've been trying to unlock the jump pads. God, I this think is we've done it. stupid. Yeah, clearly we have. You better not have just started the boss fight, sir. I don't think so. Red's like way above me. Yeah, we gotta get to the base of where they jumped up from. Oh, you guys can also use the other ones. I don't think it matters. Well, there used there to go. only be one way to jump up on the old map. I'll heal you. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Red, I disappeared. <laughs> well, if you're just tuning in, welcome to Running Simulator 2022. Oh shit, I got it.
I just got launched very, very high up. Welcome to the party. That was the now stupidest level here. design I've, enc I've encountered in a while. Everyone crossed the line. I believe once Zarkos does, we'll wake up our nightmare. This level does actually have an end. Rule the game. Run. Oh. Hey, that's not gonna hold him. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. 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 I need to come here. Go fuck me. Interesting. His AI is actually really smart. It's not like he doesn't just go for the person doing the most damage. It's calculating a lot of things to consider who he targets. There we go. I know I feel that. Oh my god, I'm here to this. I died. Right, remember, the next time he goes into the center, he's gonna pull all of our items, and we just need to whack them off of him. Shit, he's gonna do it now. No, you fucking don't.
I'm dead. You red. Red seems to be easily the most experienced out of all of us. Yeah, it's being a fuel misfriendly. It's being reported. Fucking Ukraine bombed that oil, oil depot. Uh, dude, BC but always was here. I, dude. Like they're taking ownership of these now? I'm not seeing anybody owning up to it yet, but... We don't know. Yes, Red is the one running like Sonic on cocaine. Yes, the Red is the one who is somehow kicking fucking ass where none of us are good. Rush is still Russia's but BBC, Rush is still blaming Ukraine. Ukraine has yet to claim responsibility. What? Why am I revived? No, oh, no, he's he red. Was yeah, red has a knife. Had a knife. How long would I laugh for if Ukraine took over Russia? Dude, I would be laughing for ages. I would that, that would literally ages. go down in history as fuck around and find out. Yeah. No, that's that's literally fuck around and find out, dude. Russia pokes you crazy. You turn just like, you know what? Fuck it. We've had enough of your bullshit. <laughs> the loyalty and just fervor of my people <laughs> will put you all in. Oh. Oh. That's it. Yeah, so that Star Blast is way too fast fucking powerful. Red, you did amazing. That's in the chat for anyone watching. You know what? I mean, I know y'all babied me, but like, I didn't actually do that terrible. I didn't get my damage up though. Wait, who is that comparable to? That was me. That was Zartos. Alright. Well, Zartos spent like half the game out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Red just wish my mic worked. Y'all yeah, need more of a fucking... Uh, Y'all need to work on your microphones. <laughs>
It's a bunch of y'all. You need to get like a micro. He's still like containing it. All right. <sighs> All right. It is far too late for me to say yes to a second round. Oh, I there's no way I would have done a second round of that. No offense. The reason I said what? one to two was I thought we were going to die way sooner. Oh, uh, all right. I didn't think we were going to make it to the final boss and die there. But uh, that just means it was a good run. Um. All right. So there's like shit here. I need to close. Uh, what did I What did I get? I got an artifice, artificer card and a mercenary card. <laughs> Fucking stupid, weird little things that people buy games for. Uh, Ukraine, <laughs> look at me. I'm the Captain Russia now. <laughs> yeah, dude, that would be the most hilarious move if fucking we woke up one day and Zelensky was just like, after consulting with my cabinet, we've decided to do a full scale invasion. <laughs> we're we're like, taking. Look at their Russia. Yeah. I'm the Slav now. You're done. I'm slapping. Uh, B, B said, you mean new Ukraine. Yes. Yes. New Ukraine. <laughs> new Ukraine. <laughs> Fucking A. That would be a hell of a thing. Um, well, thanks for the game. I'm going to hop back into the watcher mode of the stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This stream is ending now. Like, I'm not carrying y'all through to some shit. There's only, like, you know, whatever here anyway. There's 26 of y'all. <laughs> don't think I don't value you. That looks you. live, though. Um, seriously? Yeah. This is crazy. Um, May as well send what, him to what, what? What is their? What is his fucking username these days? Public loser. <laughs> oh, public! I thought you said fucking um, fucking Alex. Fuck that! All right, I'll send him public's way for sure. Oh, play, they're playing Elden Ring. All right, mm, next that's step. Probably why they're up so late. Every single Ukrainian with a pulse grabs a gun and just starts marching. Yeah, no, that'd be hilarious. All right, Karina, get your sleep. Catch you later. Yeah, y'all have yourselves a good one. Thanks oh. so much. Hey. Yep. And good night, everybody. Yep. Night, Sartos. Wait, did I click the button? I clicked the fucking button. No, I didn't. Click the fucking button, Kai. Thank you.